Hi, everybody. Welcome to the pre-show. I know I'm not the black excellence, but Jordan's there. Hey, everyone else is getting situated. But I needed to make time uh, to actually do the first show of the year. The okay. year. The month. Okay. It's the first show of the month. What that means is it's time for our Patreon. So first and foremost, uh, these will, this will be the graphics that go out, and I'll probably make like a motion one so we can just play it at the end. But uh, we want to shout out our patrons. Now, these are all the patrons that are above the $5 tier. This is the $15 tier, the $5 tier. I forget how these, these memberships go. But if you do a certain thing, Actually, yeah, that's what it is. You also get a weekly bonus show if you're there. Actually, let's, let's just show them, Jordan, real quick. Let's show, let's show the benefits real quick. Welcome, Patreon. This is for the Patreon folks. It's not exclusive. It's just for everybody else. Everyone else can just watch, but like... It's not for you. This is, this is we're talking about the we're talking about the Patreon folks here. Right, right. So if you get the five dollar IMAX, there's five members there. Okay. You know, best deal in town. You get your weekly bonus show. Nice. And we've had a weekly bonus show every Monday. So if you missed that, excellent. It's excellent Monday, baby, for Patreon. And for Super Mexcellent, ten dollars a month. Nobody's a part of this one. Oh. Nobody's a part of this one because they, they said, you know what? I want the big bucks later. Okay. But you do get your name at the new end credits. Thank you at the end of each live show. Nice. Be immortalized in Mexcellence forever. But this is where the people really showed out. They okay. said, I want to be Super Mexcellent Two Turbo. Four members. A Mexcellent challenger appears. A tier gets you into a monthly Mex merch raffle. Every member at this level gets one entry into the raffle for a free shirt for Mexmerch.com. You get the bonus and you get the thank you at the end. So we have some raffle stuff to do okay. in a few moments here. And last but not, or not, second to last but not least, Super Mexcellente Deluxe $25. You get to pick... Uh, a boat. You get the bonus show, and you get to pick a topic. So actually, we have somebody that we'll get to pick a topic. Maybe not this episode, but uh, we got to coordinate that. But sometime later this month, uh, you will get your topic. So it's not going to be like they don't get the whole right, right. hour. They they get like, hey, I want you to watch this YouTube video, and okay. if it sucks, it's not our fault. We just we'll take it as far as we can go. Okay, but. That's what you get. We will watch the thing you want us to watch. Mm. And last but not least, this is the last but not least. There's one member, and we'll and we'll introduce them in a moment. But this is for fifty dollars a month. Damn. El Gran Chile. Hey, rich. Now they want us. If they want me to review a movie or watch anime, they want Tommy to do a puzzle. Oh. This is where you make it happen. This is a producer. <laughs> Driven, and they get three entries into the raffle. Not a and, puzzle. <laughs> and, and then Super Mexcellent 2 gets two, and then these this one gets one, and then, uh, yeah, so they get the shout-outs, but they don't get the... Tommy hates puzzles. Tommy hates... It's not, established. Not asking, not asking Tommy to eat Whataburg on, on camera. <laughs> that's, that's not a puzzle. No! It's not a mukbang. We're not, that was a request. I right? mean, okay, if they want us to do a mukbang, we'll do a muk, Tommy will do a Whataburger mukbang. Not eat a Whopper. <laughs> For for twenty dollars or less. <laughs> hey, I'll pay a choice to start fighting with a random hey, person I'm on the street. Hey, I'm not Sneeko. Don't get me. No, in we don't do this. No, we, we don't. don't do we don't do shit. hack things. We I don't got do, a job. We don't do things <laughs> that will keep people uh, in jail or hurt or harmed in the city of Austin. But that brings us to once again in reverse order because we got to go with the only. El Gran Chile, which is the big Chile, Joe Jira. Oh, shit. So thank you, Joe Jira. You're going to be able to get one entire topic on one of these shows later this I month. I read that too fast. I thought it said Joe Jackson. <laughs> no, not Joe. No, not the famous Joe not Jackson. Not Joe Jackson. Not, oh. the, not the famous Joe Jackson. <laughs> not Jet Jackson, Michael's father. Tito, none of that. No. They're here. Jesus. Uh, El Gran Chile. Yeah, everybody's here. We got Jordan. Yeah, no, I'm the black excellence now. They, it's too late. He light skin. What up, y'all? It's the black excellence. <laughs> Aren't you wiggity 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 whack? Ooh. <laughs> Yikes. My pants are on backwards. <laughs> Next up, we have the Super Mexcelente Deluxe, Timothy Lane Jr. Woo! Thank you so much for being at that higher level. You get two raffle tickets. And, of course, we have the four at the Super Mexcelente 2 Turbo. Christina Ochia, who's here. Maggie, PMDK87, Wimpleu W. W. Hey. So... Here's the thing. I told them I got to reach out to them and make sure that they get the topic, make sure that they get the segment. But more importantly, very much more importantly, we got to do this raffle, Jordan. Okay. Now, the other, I was going to do it by myself, but I have you here. Yeah. So if you look at this right now, Joe Jiro with the $50 Fancy. donation gets three. Tim Dillon Jr. gets two. Christina Maggie PM DK87 and Wimpleu get one raffle apiece for $15. Oh. They can get... 
a free shirt at mexmerch.com. Do you know what Mexmerch? Have you? We haven't been. We haven't pitched mexmerch.com. It's been a while. Yeah. Let's go ahead and throw it back. Well, it's loading. There it is to mexmerch.com. Look at all. We're going to win a t shirt and we're going to win some merchandise. Look at all yeah. these t shirts right here. Jordan's excited. <laughs> Look at the thank you anime, the tamales, the chile g pozole shirt. We got them. Oh, just in time for X Men 97. Oh, shit. Hey. So that's there. That's been there in blue and black for you as well. We got some tacos. We got. Look at. I can actually use Steamboat oh, Willie shit. now. Okay. Copyright infringement. Uh, we got the classic elderly shirt. We got the fantabulous shirt as well. And we got this one. The old vintage nice. swap oh, meat shit. shirt. Most people have not picked that up. I not, wouldn't either. <laughs> what? Military Mark. Oh, Military Mark was the youngest <laughs> Mark I could find. Yeah, yeah we got some what? others as well. Look at this. Look at the, the bits no as well. No way. Jared That's Goff fine. is now on to the Washington Commanders. That's a lie. I'm looking that up. Well, he's going to look that up. But here it is, folks. While you look that up, I'm going to go ahead and do the ultimate Patreon. The very first Patreon raffle. Yeah, so let's wheel. spin that wheel. Let's get that audio up. Boop, 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 boop. No boop. whammy, no whammies. It's ah. Maggie. Now, Maggie has been Yay, on the show, show, but Maggie does pay the, the bills, and she does pay. So she does get the T-shirt. We will ship it to her. Uh, we'll probably ship it here and then give it to her because she's around. But... As you, Jordan, you saw me do the raffle earlier. I want to actually show the people that we did make sure that it was fair. And yeah, Wimp Blue, Timothy Lay, Joe Jira won all the other hey. ones. So I may have burned their chances, but hey, I did some sample runs. Maggie is the, why am I doing the Trump pants? Maggie's the winner. <laughs> she wins everything. Hands. So thank you for your patronage. And be sure if you want. If you want, go to patreon.com forward slash the excellence and you can get yourself some exclusive content. Let's go to the exclusive content, Jordan. What? Look at we got Baldur's Gate 2 this last episode. This is the second part of our many part series. Fake. Not one will repeat. Oh my god. It's Baldur's Gate. Me and Mark played Baldur's Gate. When did y'all play that? (laughs) Months ago a month ago, because we did it right before I had my move. So a lot of this content has been pre-recorded, but we're gonna be doing a sexcellence with Christina when she's in town. Uh that should be Friday. So Jordan, you're more than welcome to come on. I can't. What? We're going to Philadelphia. Oh, that's right. Mark, yeah, you guys are gonna have a Philly adventure. So I got to get more people that fuck to do that show. Um, but yeah, that's going to be a fun time. But yeah, no, we're over here doing all sorts of crazy things. There's my character. He's a... Will, will people get mad at me if I kill this pig? Yes. Okay, well, and yeah, there's me trying to figure out how to play Red Dead Redemption. But then there's also me and... Not Red Dead Redemption, Baldur's Gate 2. Baldur's Gate 2 uh, we yeah. got some celebrity crushes. Our time at Double Toast and me and Ian okay. talking about the deep, dirty secrets. There's me playing Helldivers for the first time. Oh. I'd never played a, a really that game at all or any that, type of game that like that. Uh, Hell Divers? What is this? Oh my god, you never seen Hell Divers? No. Oh my god, Hell Divers is a fun time. Fun. It's a Starship Troopers, but for bugs and aliens. Fly. Fly. Ooh, Ooh, interesting. Yeah, and that's all me. Right, let's see. Oh, all right, I'm gonna dive in. Oh wait, hold on. We just saved the planet. Hold on. We got to show some fun adventures for the people. <laughs> cool. Let's, let's, oh. Get <laughs> playing somebody else? Oh, you playing online? Yeah, I'm playing with my cousin. You hurt my nice. So bad. But look at that. There's me playing. Uh oh. And I get. Oh, I was dead actually. So I'm being real. Niggas having a powwow without me. Yeah. I see how it is. I ain't want to hear it no more. TJ bought two bottles of water and forgot that he brought the first one in. You brought the first one in right away. This yeah. This one on the counter. So I'm gonna put that back. It's all right, but. You guys missed it. You guys missed all the fun. Could get in your getting your water and taking a piss and doing all those things. Uh, Maggie won the T-shirt. We have T-shirts. So the, yeah, look at we did a raffle. You missed the raffle. Oh shit! I haven't been here in a while. <laughs> you were literally here He's out of sorts. Thursday. That's that's a while. That's a while. Well, that's it was a long while. weekend. Yeah, it was Easter. You probably had holiday things. I don't do Easter. Oh. Me neither. Yeah, 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 it's another day. Yeah. Well, but there's cl- they, uh, people. People are closed. H-E-B so I couldn't find it. Yeah, but you I know who does Easter? Milk. Joe Jira. Joe Jira has risen. He's El Gran Chile. Okay. He has a fifty dollar donation per hey, month. Hey, He's rich. Locked in. So we have to do a segment that he decides at some point this what month. What does he want? We have to. Well, no, it's a well, yeah show. Yeah. Well, 
Well, it's like segment. I, it was no. A sh- well, no. A segment is yeah. That's right. It is a show. So yeah, uh, we got to f- figure out what he wants us to do. He won, he won a t-shirt. He won a t-shirt. No, Joe didn't win a t-shirt. Yeah, he won Maggie a t-shirt. Won, no, stop lying. And a fifty-dollar EBT card. We don't even have those to <laughs> no, give away. No. <laughs> but no, we're not. We don't have food. Guys, this is the black slants, not the porcelain. That's not, racism. Not a, well, not, if they could do the good times thing, then we'll, no, we'll, no, okay. No. Well, now that's okay. <laughs> gave them money though. Diddy, Can cartoon. We? Good times, whoa, all of it, whoa, and more whoa, on the Black Slits like pre-show or main show. Who knows? Thank you, Patreon patrons. Wait a he wanted a shirt and a block of government he cheese. Did no, that is not. <laughs> that is not what we do. Oh, sick! Sammy's producing this. <laughs> <laughs> ain't, ain't we lucky we got him. <laughs> Not the rodeo chitlin' circuit. <laughs> oh, shit. What up? I ain't traveling the world. Y'all need, y'all need to let me live. What I missed in the pre-show? You missed a lot. I mean, no, this is the pre-show. This is the pre-show. He's still in the pre-show. We in the pre- Part two? To the pre-pre-show. No, that was for the Patreons. If you're not a Patreon, you don't, you don't get it. Damn! Yeah. I just exclusive things. Whatever, Rico. Here, uh, uh, Joe Jira won a Whopper Junior with <laughs> <laughs> half a block of government cheese and a fifty dollar EBT card. Give it up for Joe Jira. Come on, y'all. It's, we gave out Whoppers. <laughs> yeah. Right. We I canceled. Them. I canceled them excellence. Yeah. We are no more. If we're handing out Whoppers. We, we like. Bird King, sponsor us, please. Yeah, we'll take it. Yeah, we'll, we'll hand them out if you sponsor. But. That man get a, <laughs> a pack of grape swishers. <laughs> Look, and thank you, Serenity. My bad. I'll be gone, and Black Souls can't happen uh, if I'm not around. So my bad, y'all. I got sick and traveled. That's my fault. That, yeah, that was all of March. We've never done it without you, right? You can't do it without me. <laughs> <laughs> I hold this shit. You guys hold, it. hold the key. No, we won't. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we won't. We, yeah, we, well, he passed for a while if you squint your eyes. <laughs> No, the whole point <laughs> Put a filter is on black them. beauty, excellence. You got to show. Get out of here. <laughs> Not now. It's no. my house. <laughs> yeah, but did you get, uh, did you get more lovely space? Lovely. Oh, lovely yes. space? So that way you can be on the other side of it? Mm. Huh? Sir? Can't us niggas have reparations? <laughs> Actually, well, California co- yeah, yeah, yeah. California's okay. committee for reparations Uh-oh. continues to get some updates. So it's a very interesting conversation topic. But we have a lot of interesting <laughs> topics this month. Uh, I'm getting back in the swing of things. I'm TJ. It's pre-show. So, you know, we just kicking it. Uh, how's everybody You're back going? from Dubai, yes. No, I'm back yeah. from death. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, so back. Slow down. Yeah. Slide oh, to the left. This feels Slide good. to the left. There you go. Um, cha cha, real smooth. <laughs> I got back from uh, so I was in Destin, and then okay. I was had a sinus infection. That's it. That's why I was sick. Okay. No, I, I didn't see you. Just the Wait, weather. I did see. You. Yeah, you did see me. I, I, was, I was sick because I got. Sick. I don't think sinus infections aren't They're contagious. Not, I don't think they are. So y'all need well, to get I must got sick by somebody else because no, I'm you got sick from Texas. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad out here. Man, everybody, he's fucked up. Him, me. I feel like shit. I, I haven't like, been able to breathe in three I, weeks. I rarely go out, and I say, "How the fuck did I get sick?" No, this shit is uninhabitable. Oh, it's turning God. to Mars in this bitch. Like man, no one can man. live here. I don't know, man. It's I just bad. I was it's surprised. Humid. It was humid, and then it's not humid. Then it's yeah. cold. Yesterday it was weird. <laughs> it depended like whatever you were. If you yeah. just so happened to be hot and you stepped outside, warm, not even hot, and you stepped outside, you would continue to be warm. Yeah. Hot. Oh, if yeah. You were chilly and you stepped outside. For somehow you would be colder. It was weird as fuck. <laughs> now, I don't I went, know what was happening. Yesterday, the sun was out, but it was cloudy. Yeah, and I mean yeah, bright that sun. Was weird. That was dude, man. Yesterday really threw that me off. That shit was bizarre. Because I walked outside and I was <laughs> this like, weird shit. Why is it this? Why, why does it feel like this? Why <laughs> it felt is it this abnormal? Human? Yeah. And then if you were to come here today, if you were to arrive in Austin today, you'd be like, y'all springs Beautiful. are lovely. You're like, this it's, is a perfect day. I'm wondering. It's nice like, we beautiful. earned this shit. This was like a punch card situation. <laughs> we had to deal with like eight days of bullshit to get this one nice day. Yeah. You, you hunter, whatever that username is. Yeah, it is bipolar weather. Because it's going to be cold today. And then it's tomorrow cold it's gonna now. Be, it's going to be, it's gonna be oh, hot it's as cold. shit tomorrow. He, the door's locked. I'm freezing my ass off Sweating outside. Sweating my perm out. That is true. I, I said, I, you in know, April. I got here and I was like, it was too cold for Tommy. It was 80 degrees <laughs> earlier. It's like, it's too cold for Tommy. Tommy. And you wonder why you're sick. Come on, man. Hold up. I'm literally looking up the weather. It's part of the plot. So we have lovely weather today. 
Uh, and yeah, it gets back to 80. And then Saturday, it drops back down. So it's going to be nice and cool. For no damn reason. And not, then not tomorrow, cool. it's going to be cool, too. Actually, it's going to be kind of cool. We have actually <laughs> real spring weather for the next few weeks. And that's weird to me. No, nah, man, like you know that. that's not for the next few weeks. That's what your phone says now. And that's what my phone says That shit now. changes by the hour. <laughs> no, I, when I was flying back from the last spot I was at, it literally was like, I don't know, man. Costa Rica? It's like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Geographical. You're a world traveler, man. That's good. It's a good thing. Nah, man. Nah, I, I like being at home. I like being at home. I miss being at home. I said, I said uh, what's Pick up? a new home. Where? Anywhere that has better weather than this fucking place. Why? That's better No, weather. time, time, time. time. Why know. am I here so I can travel as much as I do? What the fuck you mean? It's cheap. Yeah, so it's very I cheap. Like, I was like, let's let's not come for a reason. Ass. Everyone asks. <laughs> it's for a reason. I get that question more than you think. I'm like, oh, I can work, you know, because I have some flexibility on where I can work. Yeah. Uh, why do I work from Texas? Because it's cheap as fuck to fly out of here. It's cheap <laughs> as fuck to live here. That's, that's, that's two points. It's, I mean, well, you get what you pay for. Also. That's true. Yeah, I said, like ah. sinus infections and... <laughs> Death. Racist cops. But how about y'all? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those sprinkle. <laughs> I mean, it's part of the experience. Fuck, I'll put it in thing. there. Racist sinus infections. <laughs> a racist ass sinus infections. Oh, look, he Not had one. He had one. I had one. He did. All the color people had sinus infections. So you tell me. <laughs> but Not all the color people. <laughs> yes. You know what? You're right. You're right. Gertz was mysteriously okay. Perfectly fine. <laughs> but uh, what's going on, with y'all? With y'all? Rent. Yeah. <laughs> Rent. Bills. Nigga tired of eating ramen noodles. This, this is true. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of been the yes. same here. Why are we struggling? This is fun. You know? Black was bringing that depression. <laughs> <laughs> Black man experiences. <laughs> you wanted the real experience. Right. Right. You know? right. You know? Tired of getting whooped by these Who's used the payment arrangement? <laughs> 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 you know? Rough times, man. <laughs> You're killing me, y'all. It's real shit. Yes. Oh man. Uh, we are talking nothing going on but the rain. We Damn are talking right. about good times, right? What? What? Wait, what's happening with good times? <laughs> no. You haven't seen? No. I got you. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. See, see, that's exactly oh, why. No. See, see. This is why. We oh do wait, it. wait. The cartoon? Yeah. yeah. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, see, we see, see, because you asked me earlier. You said, you said, what else is there? Right. There's a plenty. It's a lot. There's man. a plenty it's that we too, haven't too talked about. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. TJ has a tendency to surprise me with topics, knowing I'm gonna get my blood pressure riled up. I'm glad I knew about that good times, but I'm afraid for everything else on the rest of this damn show. If it ain't <laughs> outside them four topics I said, then I'm like, ah, oh, brother, you I'm the get court is all killing. Dog. I'm here. <laughs> I'm, I'm here to get you. <laughs> Uh, but not someone said rent's not cheap in Austin. You always do a comparison. Oh, no. but you do a comparison to other cities. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, look, to live in a uh, uh, look, you, to live you, in a city like Austin. That's what I mean. It's the type of like compared to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Like you know, it's yeah, not like, gonna be the same. I'm sure. Yeah, that's true. You didn't know that part? Uh, no, 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 no. Hey, <laughs> okay, hey, I'm hey, sorry. They're giving away too many secrets. Oh yeah, yeah. Too many fun facts. But yeah, no, yeah. No, your rent's mm-hmm. terrible here, and the city's not been great. It's getting higher, but eh, I mean, if I live anywhere else, it's not going to be better. I know that. Well, if you let, let's say you were trying to go somewhere with a comparable lifestyle kind of situation, right? Because right? Austin's kind of weird, where it's yeah, small, it's, it's but most, one of the most expensive places yeah, yeah, to live in. But, um, yeah. but but the qualifier there is always going to be asterisk. In mm. Texas, mm. right? Uh, if you go thirty minutes outside of Austin, you're fine. It's yeah. actually not too bad. You go thirty dollar rent. Yeah, it's like yeah. You go <laughs> thirty minutes again, south of Austin, you get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. <laughs> yeah. But then you like, okay, cool. I want to live in a major city. Right. Uh, California's off limits yeah. uh, <laughs> for comparable time. rent prices. Big time. Uh, New York is not even no, possible. not even close. Nothing. Miami. I notice how I skip Florida. Yeah. Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Florida, Florida. No, and, and, and Miami's so, an awesome. And so you Florida. just kinda you just kinda do a comparison now. So it's like, yeah, I mean, you Have know, you so, seen some place you can get in New Orleans for like fourteen hundred dollars a month? Really? But it's New Orleans. No, no, no. It's sh- it's shacks. Like oh, this, hell no. like not renovated in any way, literal goddamn not shacks. Not a cubicle. Yeah. <laughs> not a portable. Not a portable. No bathroom. <laughs> but it's just You shit in a bucket? <laughs> It's part I, of the experience. I would say fourteen hundred dollars. And I'm just like, you know, for me, you can't live in a sexy city. Like it ain't gonna. Yeah, yeah. Like it's it's yeah. now. You're granted, for that. there's two there's two ways to address this scenario. More people need to be incentivized to move to 
other cities. Um, yeah. You know, actually, something that uh, uh, something that some countries do is like, hey, we'll pay people to go out to some less desirable places. Yeah. And I'm more than certain a lot of people will be like, I'll get, I'll take a paycheck to go God live somewhere right. in the middle of nowhere, subsidize <laughs> it, make it more reasonable. Um, and I think America should employ some of those things just to make. I feel like every every I feel like every state should have some sort of hub. Yeah. Right. So that way it's in, and, I, and get it like people are going to hit you with, oh, well, there's X, Y, Z. Tell me where in South Dakota there is. <laughs> no, shit. Wyoming, North Dakota, for that matter. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I don't think shit. you have companies nowadays that I mean, my cousin has a he's a VP of diversities at a big company. Oh, he's and still they, there. They had fired him. <laughs> no. I said, yeah, I was oh, like, shit. that's no. a job. Yeah, so no, that, that's been, he, I thought he, that was gone. already. He lives in Chicago. Yeah. He got a new job. The job literally paid him. To move out to where they're at, I think it's in Atlanta, and they literally pay for the moving costs, Man. They pay for everything. And I'm just like, right. you know, what, what companies do you have like that nowadays? Yeah, please Shit. give me that number. Yeah. Shit, if you're gonna pay for that, I'll move anywhere. You know, I, I can well, not anywhere you in Atlanta. All expenses know. paid. I ain't Atlanta. I'm not really? an Atlanta person either. Isn't Magic City what? in Atlanta? Yes. Okay, then I'll go. Yeah. <laughs> Not Atlanta first. And you get some. I'm an Atlanta. I'm, I'm an Atlanta. <laughs> so I'm an Atlanta extended stay. Oh yeah, you like the vacation. Yeah, I like Atlanta. to be there for a little yeah. bit, and then I like to get the fuck out of Atlanta. I just, I'm, I, yeah, he would get he would get a lot of women pregnant. In no. <laughs> just. It's, you know, this place he is said no, but she got eyebrow raises. Yeah, that's no. what I'm saying. Look. No, I get a vasectomy. <laughs> yeah, before get I my, go out, there. get my tubes out and them little Boy Scout knots. <laughs> You get your badge. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, Savannah's nice. Um, now there's cities that are like I feel like there's cities that are yeah. super incentivizing, and in Texas, like realistically, you can go to Dallas or Houston and be fine. Yeah, you, you'll survive just. And, fine. And, and, and like Dallas, Houston are I even say for bigger cities, it's reasonable. Per, yeah, totally. Yeah, they're no, big. They're yeah. reasonable, but also you have a lot of options that are all very like you don't have to live yeah. like in some sketchy place. Like you, they live got somewhere. suburbs of both of those cities. Mm -hmm. that, that's affordable. Fucking Katy is affordable. Yeah, you know? Austin is DeSoto is or DeSoto's not. Mm, it's still. I don't know about lately. <laughs> it used to be. <laughs> that's, but, that's Chocolate City. Right hell, there. Katy might not be anymore. Katy, they, they're gentrifying everything like most city, like Missouri Dallas City. Like Sorry, that, but yeah. yeah, yeah, like it's it's nice. Which is weird. <laughs> well, that's zeros where, from. <laughs> well, that's where yeah. I get complex with people because, like, a lot of people think you know when they think of Austin, right? And they're like yeah. Austin prices. I'm like, you're literally just talking about Austin, Austin, yeah. right? It's it's like Austin's not that big. Well, if you have not been to Austin, Austin's not as big as whatever no. you're thinking. Uh, when you think of like a Dallas, you think of an LA, you think of a New York, you think of Miami. Houston, there are yeah. sub areas. Yeah, yeah it's when I'm in ridiculous. North Austin, I'm in Austin. Yeah. When I'm in South Austin, yeah, South Austin. I'm in Austin. Guess, well, above the river, below the river. It's that's like, it. That's it. That's all. Yeah. It's thirty minutes to get anywhere in. It's it like, really no traffic. No, no thirty traffic. minutes. I say twenty five. Yeah, twenty five. Literally if from like Cedar Park to goddamn Buda. If it's no traffic, it's about yeah about thirty minutes. Honestly, the worst. But it will be traffic. Lots so, and lots of. Yo, know, and, and so like whenever people are like Austin's super expensive, it's like when you're thinking about it in the lens of Austin. Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, because it's but it's literally just a this. Yeah. If Guess I said space, I just, yeah, it'd be sure. crazy. Guess be what crazy I discovered? Cheap. If it's no traffic, I live eight minutes away from you. <laughs> With it takes me like thirty minutes to get here. Jeez. What's well, one highway? Home, it's eight. I gotta take an alternate route. No, because <laughs> the roads are like they're doing construction on I thirty five. So as usual. Oh, do you come down thirty five? Yeah. See, I'm a straight. Rock, I'm, so, yeah. I, I'm actually a straight. Yeah, you're shot straight across. shot. You're yeah, breaking. So, you're good. Yeah. yeah, like I literally just. Yeah. 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 So so I, I have, have a, I have a big preference towards this because it's one turn and a straight. Should rock. be easy. <laughs> Should be easy. And if I want Whataburger not. on the way, I can get it. Right. Are we doing a meeting at Waffle House? Oh I kept, I'm, I'm really, can we, it's a celebrity that works there, George. Oh, what celebrity? Oh, did they have like a, a monument of her in the, the girl who, who the, caught the chair? The caught the chair? Yeah. That Waffle House is up the street. Yeah, I know. I, I've been at Waffle House twice. I didn't know it did. existed, so I'm, I'm baffled right now. I ain't now. going back there no more. You it's cash for a Waffle House. I have, Don't ever say that. Don't ever. Yeah, no, 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 no. I ain't even. I, no, 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 no. I, I'll pay for Waffle House. Brazilian steakhouse is okay. Yeah, I can't. I can't say that. Waffle houses. We can't. I've never been to Waffle House. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, what? It's four dollars in a right, right. 
I thought, you, I thought you were joking. No, I've never been to Waffle House. Whoa. Whoa, sir. They don't have them in California? No. <laughs> it's too rich. Uh, <laughs> There's too much joy. Yeah. Moby Corbin is a drunk delic- delicacy. It's a delicatessen. <laughs> I was about to say delicatessen, but delicacy. It is a drunk delica- delicacy. Yeah, yeah. I think it's both. Mm-mm. Well, what word? Yeah, I can eat that, all, I can eat that any day. I can eat that any day. Oh, it's man. like one of the but, fast foods that my stomach loves. But I will say, it mm. does get extra, extra, extra bonus points when you're drunk. Yeah. None is. What burger normally? Great. What burger when you're drunk? The best. Top, top, top tier. Top of the line. S oh, so tier. <laughs> yeah, that is so S-tier. much so people will wait in a line for an hour at bro, 2 a.m. Uh, bro, you be in that hour, and the worst part is you know it's bad because you be like, you get to the end and you're like, oh shit, I got to go home and drink. Right. <laughs> yeah. I got to go I gotta go home and get my buzz back. You, you know how Whataburger is so self-aware? They have Powerade. On the, <laughs> you got to rehydrate. Oh, bro. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's on the menu. Um, nah, so what I will say is a sleeper pick. Sleep pick, yes, yes, it's fat boy pick here. Uh, <laughs> their cinnamon rolls are dope. Really, I've never had their Amazing. cinnamon rolls. I should have. Go that. get, go get a, go get a, go get a Whataburger cinnamon roll. <laughs> Wait, he like get a Whataburger cinnamon roll. Nigga, stop by Jack in the Box. <laughs> Just ignore all that. Just say, I'm going to go to Jack in the Box. Churros. Get some mini churros. <laughs> Those <laughs> mini churros are delicious. Now, Jack, Jack in the Box. Uh, I've been eating a lot of Jack in the Box again lately. It's like I that is a I can't, I can't do it. I can't do, I can't do it. It's not good. I, no. I, for me. I, I mean, I, it's good, but like, I, you know. I had an ultimate cheeseburger, I want to say, like sometime Same. in the middle of last year. It was like mm. way much. I was like, let me have yeah. it again from first time. Yeah. Late at night. And I've <laughs> never. And I mean, I've eaten Whataburger trashy. I've yeah. eaten I mean, McDonald's trashy. Jack in the Box, legit. Yeah. Natural colon cleanser. Bad. Oh, it makes you feel disgusting. Like, I felt. It tastes I, so good. But it that, not ultimate, so no, the ultimate cheeseburger slides down too easy. They fucked me up. They <laughs> fucked me up. Because watch, they do the munchie meals during the day now. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So ultimate yeah. cheeseburger is on there now. So I got that a uh, mixture of curly fries and regular fries Ooh. and two tacos. The not two even tacos, real cheese. No, the two tacos <laughs> took, took me to a place of I feel sick to I need a hospital. Like, it was bad. It was really, really bad. Okay, what's your what, what's, felt like something coated my body on the inside. <laughs> so I know Jack of the Jack in the Box is your go-to fast food. Oh, unfortunately, spot. what's yours? I don't have a go-to fast fast food. I don't. Okay, I'm, get off your high horse. What used to be? Pop- you've all you've had, at some time in your life you've had a go-to fast food place it, it, or someone burgers, that you go like, like any, you know I got anything a with a drive-through. Anything with a drive-through. We'll take. Uh, I don't know. Taco Bell. Oh, that that's fine. absolutely okay. counts. Yeah. I, that, <laughs> I used to go to Dairy Queens for the tacos, but that's it. I, I fuck with Dairy Queens. The tacos, tacos are good, man. Yeah, with I, that taco. I don't know why they burgers though. They burgers. Uh, no, no, they don't use uh, uh, DQ burgers. DQ's terrible. DQ burgers. They don't use the real meat. Are not good. They use pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> no, do I remember DQ? I was in college. I was broke college student. That's my first job. So I go there freshman year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is when I was like, you know, we were struggling. We were yeah. like, cool. We we we, we were like, all right, first time you now, man. We never eat, we never eaten DQ proper. We only really? had like <laughs> just so get we, the basket. So, so and we got tacos. so we got the DQ had mm-hmm. the burgers. Yeah, and we didn't finish them. Of course not. As a broke college student, you don't un- go there. For super that. hungry. You go there for the we ice cream, no. the tacos, or the baskets. <laughs> Even get, broke folks got standards. Yeah. We're not eating that shit. Steak finger basket. <laughs> That's all they're really good for is a steak finger basket, and that didn't fell off. Mm. They used to be different back in the day. But you, but you do. You actually, no, Tommy. That's why you like DQ. It's the only place with steak fingers. Oh, I used to switch mine. I used to have half steak and half chicken. <laughs> They're disgusting. I no, I was. A, I mean, look, I was a teenager, so I also had a dipping sauce of nacho cheese. Bro, how were and you gravy. around? It was literally <laughs> first in the cheese, then the gravy, and then you devour. And that was we my life. I got. The, I don't got know the, how I wait, am still alive. I thought it was uh, not L.A. Times, but Washington but, Post. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tommy is ninety percent preservative. So oh, absolutely. That's how skin. I mean, actually, did we say this on the other show? Or if, they, <laughs> if you died, we could take you to the bodies exhibit and skin you, and you'd be preserved perfectly. No, we talk about the the funeral home in Dallas that does it. You, yeah, nothing needed. Just prop me up. No embalming fluid. We're gonna do this setup. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Just straight, <laughs> straight liquid. <laughs> um, yeah, the cameras will be on and all. Someone will be switching. <laughs> Go ahead, let's do it. Let's try it. <laughs> Tommy never leaves the black lens. Always does it. <laughs> Where's your sunglasses? Oh, yeah, 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 oh fuck, yeah, I don't have yeah, sunglasses. Because yeah. they only have oh, sunglasses. Weekend at Tommy's. <laughs> weekend at Tommy's. Um, you guys have fun with me. But, uh, Jordan. <laughs> oh, there you go. 
Jordan, yeah. why why is Taco Bell why 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 was Taco Bell your pick? Uh <laughs> and what's your order? What's what's your Who is this nigga? <laughs> It's, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Why, 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 why is it your pick? I mean, <laughs> thank you for paying Put it back respect. on. Put it back on. Put it back on. It's Stevie Wonder. Put it back on. I be stroking. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why? <laughs> we'll see a piano over there next time. <laughs> <laughs> just sway back and forth. Oh, just like, man. My shit. Uh, Taco Bell was my Because I love tacos. I, I'm a taco. I'm a, I wouldn't oh, say I'm taco. a taco. I love tacos. <laughs> Taco Bell um, is a lot of people's guilty. Point. It is. Yeah. You I mean, like street food tacos? You like regular tacos? You like all tacos? I just, all types of tacos. Okay. Even if it's just bad, I just yeah. still like it. Um, but yeah, Taco Bell is just my late night. If I wake up late and I'm like, fuck, I'm hungry. And I'm like, okay, I want some Taco Bell. Cool. It's down the street and it's still open. Only if they got nacho fries. Their nacho fries had no business being as good as they were. <laughs> no, and they're that. not they're, even on the regular menu. No, no, no. Their wings had no business being that good. I'd also co-sign whoa, that. Their whoa, wings had whoa. no business they being have as wings? tasty as they, they were. used to. It's limited time. Why but does they, Taco Bell have wings? Why is everybody know. doing wings? It, it look, and Whataburger doing wings, and I don't even like that wing. No shit. Yeah. That's crazy. I, um, <laughs> because Whataburger wings are wings. True. I like mean, I don't trust Popeye's chicken wings. Chicken nuggets and dip, dipping sauce. Boneless yeah. wings. I got a beef with you. <laughs> it's, not a, it's a nugget. It's a nugget. It's a giant nugget. That's y'all sauce up. Except... Pluckers who give you Ooh, yeah, no, 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 that's wings. not a wing. That's, that's I don't know. That's not even a strip. That's I don't a know bro, what that, the fuck that is. <laughs> bro, that's that's strip. Some <laughs> shit, dude. Yeah. Brontosaurus a, Rex. Yeah, I was about to say. It's a whole the chicken monster breast. Wings is not, uh, monstrous, <laughs> goddamn. No, I man. used to. I used to get the monster, monster boneless wing basket, and it was like you'd be like, man, that's seventeen dollars. No, look at me. Look, oh, at no, me. It's, it's <laughs> worth it. The seventeen dollars that you go and look at, and you gonna be like, I can't finish this yeah. today. Right. Plus, if you get a rub on them fries that come Ooh, with it bro. too, it's all it's quite now, worth. Trust it. Yeah. me. Go try that bo- monster boneless wing basket. Act like you can You'll finish eat it for two days. Two days. No, you use literally, literally for two, two days. days. Yeah. Um. But no. Uh. I'm McDonald's. I'm simple. That's fair. I'm, I, I'm, it's a good. It's fair. a good go. I like look, as long as you actually you could do it a lot. You yeah. could do McDonald's a lot and be fine. Cause yeah. look, what, what what happens? I hate I'm, to say it, but yeah. Yeah. I, I, what happens? I'd be like, okay, cool. Uh, it's three a.m. Yeah. I still can get a Big Mac. Are there oh, any shit, open twenty four hours? Shit, shit, it's for, yeah, a lot yeah. are still. Yeah, yeah. The one down the nah, street. Nah, shit. I don't McDonald's? know any. Yeah. The one uh, on Palmer. Or, yeah. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Metric is twenty four hours. Me- metric 24 is twenty four. The one next okay. to me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hours. Yeah. Yeah. The most of them are not anymore. Oh, no, nah, dog. It's yeah, wild. The one on Breaker. Uh, yeah. On, yeah. The one on Breaker. Yeah. Yep. By the Taco Bell. They uh, close at twelve o'clock. Too. Taco Bell stays open longer. Yeah. It's crazy. Two o'clock. Wendy's. On Breaker. Now they're twenty four hours. Oh yeah. No, I, was, I guess they all are because the one yeah. where I live by is twenty four hours. Too bad. That was a new. That was new. That's new. That's new. Because yeah, okay. the whole thing with the whole thing with the whole thing with uh, being at UT was that they had the four a.m. Wendy's. Yeah. Yeah. The only spot that like because like you be you be at four a.m. You like. I'm gonna walk. Yeah, what life are you living with 4 a.m. Wendy's? It's not 20. Man, it was not. How'd I put it? Well, well, that was. That's that's what the, let me the tell you, college 4 a.m. Wendy's hit every time. That's the 4 for 4 for 4 for 4. Yeah. Let me tell you. I mean, you, man. When uh, I say that business was booming. Y'all was about right. to say, you got to think. Still college is. kids, 4 for 4? Still because is. You could use Because you could also use your college like card money on that. Mm. So oh, that's no why shit. you go to that Wendy's because you'd be using your money. Oh, damn. They, oh, it had it. No, they had the system. That's why they stayed open so late. They those cards. Now they had a um, so they have this thing called like Bevo Bucks at UT, right? Yeah. And then you had like actual like if you were if you if you lived on the dorms, so a bunch of different like a bunch of different uh, places around campus would use that. Mm. So you like the real trick wasn't the fact that you were like you know monitoring your uh, you know your <laughs> meal plan things. Yeah. Because you monitoring your Bevo Bucks. <laughs> Bro, shit, be, shit, shit was better than gold. Yeah. Because you'd be like, all right, look, Bevo Bucks lets me eat Chick Fil A. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, Bevo Bucks lets me eat. It let, lets me eat Burger King. Was Taco Cabana on there? Like Taco Cabana. Yeah, like, like, but it was, yeah, a, yeah, it was yeah, in there. Yeah, I know that right area that yeah, you're talking yeah, yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Gaddy's was over there, huh? Oh, we, we, oh no, because we had like four pizza spots. So yeah. All on Bevo Bucks. Yeah. yeah. What about Insomnia, Insomnia Cookies? Or that wasn't a thing. That wasn't a thing. That wasn't a thing back then? Oh, okay. Because we had Tiff Treats. Okay. Yeah. Fair. Okay. Yeah. So, so like. No, I remember that 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 Gaddy's over there really serviced, like. The neighborhood. No, <laughs> the, all the, I would, the one thing I'm gonna give UT. Uh, I, I mean, I give UT a lot, but the one thing I 100 percent give UT restaurants are always fed. on point. Yeah, they they, they, they fed like a motherfucker. No, they they'll, they'll make sure you good. They were yeah. like, we know what student base we deal with. <laughs> yeah, there's a reason this Wendy's is open till 4 a.m. Yeah, 
Well, they were strategically placed. The only thing that sucked there, crazily enough, was the McDonald's. I hated the McDonald's around campus. Really? Yeah. It closed it, down. It wasn't McDonald's will close down. Yeah, it was a bad one. <laughs> Terrible. It got they overlooked ran a lot. Let me tell you all the story. I go there. It's 10 p.m. <laughs> And this was like, this is when I was max fit. So I was super hungry. I just ran. I just did, I was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Friday night. Yeah, treat I yourself. Like, I was like, yeah. treat myself. It's 10 a.m. I mean, 10 p.m. I, I pull up there. I'm like, hey, yo, let me get my usual. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> I want a Big Mac. Yeah, extra yeah. sauce, extra right. lettuce. Right. Uh, large fry, large mm. high C. Nice. Yeah. 10 count nugget. Mm. Mm. Oh. Same. Same. I combo. And this was college me. So you know I had to throw in a couple McDoubles with that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. yeah so nowadays, I can't be doing all that. <laughs> Fuck that. That, was, that, was, that, was, that was peak. I told you I was living off McGang back. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 don't say that in that context. <laughs> what do you mean? That's what they call. Look them up. That's, That's what they call. that anymore. What the they GBs? I don't know. G- I'm just saying. What, what, what burger is this? You're out back. A, I'm, I'm take, sorry. You yeah. take a McDouble, you add, chi- you add chicken. It was a double cheeseburger, yeah, not a McDouble. Cheese. Oh, you get right. that extra cheese. What? And you put a hot and spicy in the middle of Man, that. Man, what? I'm so proud of you. That yep. correction is 100% true. He is accurate. Yep. Yep. But no, so. Oh, my God. So, so I pull <laughs> up. that tonight. I pull up. That's a typical order. No yeah. ice cream, no nut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. And these mongers have the audacity to say, we're out of meat. We're out of meat. <laughs> Wait, that's out including chicken nuggets? No. Oh, yeah. They said we're out of meat. All protein? <laughs> he said, all, no, he was like, all the meat. He Not said, no fish fillet? Because I said, no, no, because no. he was like, fillet? you can get a fish fillet. Come on. And I said, Who? so y'all ain't got no chicken y'all back there. He said, no. He ain't got no, y'all, yeah. I said, y'all ain't got no, y'all ain't got no beef. You have not a Some single left, piece of beef. Some leftover meat. <laughs> not a patty? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> y'all ain't got no beef in this restaurant. Y'all fuck? ain't got no meat substitute? <laughs> Why are you here? I was, Go home. I was confused. <laughs> Go home. Why are you? What, what no, are we, we doing? still got to sell out the rest of these fish fillets. We, got, we, we can't can, leave. We got high seat up. <laughs> okay. No, I, I don't want <laughs> McFlurries. What, what, what? When, when I say. That's why this, I this, go. This, 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 this is yeah, the M&M's. The little, the little, this is the I will do the little nozzle and just let you get a handful. What the fuck? I just. <laughs> Come on. God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck kind of McDonald's is this? Any topics from the McFlurry? I just, <laughs> they had it. They don't have meat, but they got that. of Butterfinger. <laughs> I Oreos <laughs> mix them together. Just a cup of that. Cap, what type of place is this? Orange. When when, when, when I say spoon. when I say when I say God damn, I've never been so dumbfounded. No, I, I, I sat there for like three minutes, that's insulting. like legit, like I'm talking a full three grown man minutes, being yeah. like, so really, there's not a single patty in this restaurant <laughs> right now, today, at all, today, today. And it wasn't even like he was being mean. He said it's so genuine. <laughs> like you can get a fish fillet. We still got fish. Okay. We don't have fries, but we have fish fillets. We don't have what? fries and I either? said, And I was like, y'all miss a shipment? No, it was a normal Friday. How the fuck is that? Like, he's like, you got sausage biscuits? No <laughs> shit. Can we breakfast. serve breakfast now? Because I sat there and I was like, all right, so so he was like, but you can get ice cream? I said, that's not what I wanted what? this time. You heard this whole order. <laughs> Wait, you heard this whole order. You, thought, go. you want some ice cream? Also, no. Also, <laughs> fish and ice cream is gross. Oh, God. Mm-mm. No fries to, to buffer the two. Right, just fish, just and, fish and ice cream. Boy. And, and, and let me give you some context here. Because you would think, oh, it's like, oh, maybe they had a packed day. Maybe it was big. No, this is a normal Friday. I know that McDonald's ain't got nobody come there. So I was like... And, and and so yeah, the fuck is going I, I'm on? not even kidding you. I'm not. I, I, like I literally, I literally was so confused. And anyone who had anyone who went to UT and went to that McDonald's could tell you that when, that McDonald's was trash every time. But that was just the moment I knew. I said I'm never coming back to this one. I went Hell out of my no. way. Yeah. I, the closest one. There was not another one that was close to campus. You had to go out your way. And I was like, I'm going. It's out not of my one way. close to that. No, there's Wait, not one close. You didn't want to go to Kane's? Uh, no. Yeah, we. Oh, that's all. I have a TikTok on that. <laughs> so you really? stop that. All right, yeah, I said we already have one posted. I need to watch the games. All right, games isn't real. It's not real chicken. Nah, but that, that was also the, the. But the other perk next campus was that the Chick Fil A was open late too. Oh, because yeah, Chick Fil A yeah. closes at uh, t- that that uh, Chick Fil A normally closes at ten. Mm. Uh, they moved that universally back to eleven to a little 11, bit, yeah. and then the one over there that was a midnight. Yeah, and no so, shit. And so let me t- tell y'all, Guadalupe. Yeah, the Guadalupe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah absolutely. Yep. Um, but now all he, sauce, yeah, absolutely. First true. time chatter. Hey, hey it's true sauce, though. Sauce. It is all. It's and it's one sauce. It's one sauce. No Chick Fil A sauce. No ranch. No variation. None. 
Okay. No, when you come to sauces, Chick Fil A sauces. Chick Fil A. Uh, all hit. All most. Of, yeah, all of them do. I don't know when that doesn't. If I'm being honest. Yeah. All great. They all hit. Cane sauce. It's cool, but it can't save it's your flavorless sauce. chicken. Your chicken. Or your do that. shitty crinkle fries. Keep all that. Or coleslaw. And Keep, you know what's crazy? Garlic. That's all they have. You know what's crazy? When I used to DoorDash in DoorDash downtown on Guadalupe, that line would be out the At your ass. Out your oh, ass. Oh, 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 it's ridiculous yeah, all the time. And yeah. I'm just like, how? How is this place that packed? And then I've been seeing, <laughs> be seeing the type of people that be in that line. I'm like, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Same reason Chick Fil A is popular. <laughs> well, no, Chick Fil A is a whole different Chick-fil-A's story. Okay. Now. It's okay. It's okay. You get out of here. No, no, no. Chick Fil A, I give it the award of consistency. Oh yeah, no, I will always go to Chick Fil A, and no, I'm getting the same it shit gets every time. I will give you that. Oh no, I'm not saying it's bad. Consistency, absolutely. Yeah, you know exactly what you're getting. You know, like, I have never. You know how to... your body will feel afterwards. I've, All of ne- the above. I've never had to sit there yeah. and guess what type of chick. I don't have to guess no. that a sauce is missing. I don't have to guess. <laughs> I don't have to look at my bag. I don't have, look, I don't have to hold up the line of the drive through looking at my shit just to check it to make sure it's right. You know it's right. You know it's right. You know it's right. Look, I've been having to build my trust back up with Popeyes. Y'all know my Popeyes oh, horse story. It's kind of similar to your McDonald's story. I, bro, bro, nah, nah, nah. I got, I, I got beef with Popeyes too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they're getting better. At least the one I go to is get. It, it's getting better. I went to one where it look. It was around the chicken sandwich time. So yeah, oh, that shit was wild. Uh, yeah, shit yeah, yeah. was the wild west back then. It's tasty. Yeah, it was delicious, <laughs> right. and that's why it was probably. That's a positive out. But it was a shitty one in Cedar Park to where like if you, it was in a strip mall somehow, mm. and so it was on the side. So the like the drive through was a janky drive through. But if you got in that bitch, you was stuck, and uh. I got stuck. And so but you get in, you ain't getting out till you get your food. Yeah. So my turn. And literally, I was sitting in this line for forty five minutes. Get up to the line. Can I get two chicken sandwiches, please? I'm seeing them bag this shit in the background, Jordan. She's in a regular black t shirt, not Popeye. Don't say Popeye's on there anywhere. She a trainer. She a trainee. Oh no, <laughs> no, she's not. So no, no, she's not. So I'm like, I heard this and I'm like, yeah, no, I know. I, <laughs> can I get two sandwiches? They putting them in bags, handing them to. us. Some motherfuckers on the side. Not the people in line, just one dude just Really? Yeah. We don't have any more sandwiches. Boy. I say I'm looking at sand. I'm I'm not in the mood right now. I'm looking at sandwiches. I'm looking at no, that ain't no, that's not what that is. Uh we got we got drumsticks and we got chicken tenders. That's it. You want that? Dang. I'm starving. So I'm like Fuck it. Yeah, give me that. All right. I get one drumstick. <laughs> One chicken strip. Oh man! And shrimp, some for whatever. They reason. gave you a platter. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they gave you. Like three fries and an empty cup. Not three I'm, fries. Three fries. <laughs> I'm in the drive-through. What the fuck? You give me an empty cup in the drive-through? Not three fries. <laughs> <laughs> Not even, what? Yeah, I'm like, can I get a Dr Pepper or something? We ain't got any of that. All right. Why are you still open? That I'm was like, a drug front, anything? Tommy. No. I was like, do you have anything? She's like, I don't even work here. I'm helping my son, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and not, I just wanted to leave it. Not point. a janitor. I'm like. <laughs> Mine was genuine. Yours was yeah. villainous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they just didn't like and you. And she threw the cup at me. Did you have to pay? I hope you don't have to pay. <sighs> they got my money before. Mm. At the, I was just so hungry. I'm like. Not not yeah. paying what ten over ten bucks for it was three fries. Four ninety nine. Oh, it was eight ninety nine when I got mm. my. It was a whole thing. I had to call corporate. I never done that before. <laughs> Ooh, it was, wee. it was some bullshit. You, did you take a picture of them three fries in that big ass uh, cart? I did actually. <laughs> what does Popeye's corporate sound like? Oh, it's hello. <laughs> <laughs> can I get your? Oh, sorry, this is corporate office. How can I help you? I don't, I don't know, like don't, that stereotype. Yeah. <laughs> Sir, you don't get anyone. By you actually way. don't get anyone. Yeah, is. This is Dashiki. How can I help you? No. <laughs> show, I love that. Right on the yeah. time. Right. This is, this is time. <laughs> but no, I um to your point, right? They earned my trust back. They have, no, they have not barely. They have not for me. Yeah. But uh, you know, I've been burnt by them. But I like see I, for delicious. me. For me, you just gotta be consistent. Yeah, consistent consistency your, goes a long like, way. And if, if 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 especially back in loyalty mattered to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because same. I would be so I would be a uh, like because I used to go to the Burger King off Riverside. Uh, oh yeah, I don't remember um, that. Yeah, again, I like craziest part is. <laughs> At, uh, when you are uh, you're, <clears throat> when you're the healthiest you've been, you mm. eat the worst. Absolutely. So I'm talking. 
I'm eating Burger King way more often than I should. <laughs> because what was the weapon of choice at Burger King? A Whopper. You don't Just go any. You no, know, you don't need anything else from. Uh, uh, let, let me help you out. No, not a double Whopper because that's too much. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right, look. So they used to have the. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Two, two for five Whopper. Right. Yep. yep. Two for five Whopper. You get the Hershey pie. Yep. Mm. Oh, they the had Hershey the pie, and, yeah. and they had the and they have the red high C, the actual red high C, the one that you can only get from Chick Fil A. So Burger King do got that Chick Fil A hookup to get the red high C. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I went there so much. Not even kidding. It was the same time around two two thirty to three. Yeah. It's either I was getting off bartending or. I was in some shenanigans. Right. I was an Uber <laughs> and or I was driving myself home because I was like, I was in some shenanigans. Yeah, right. Whether I was with someone or without someone. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy in the drive-thru was the same 3 a.m. guy. Uh. And so he'd be, uh, he'd be like, I'd be like, hey, can I get the two Whoppers, Hershey Pie, Red High C? I got you already, man. I said, yes, sir. That's how you get me coming back. I said his order to the side. <laughs> yeah. like, I know he's going to come yeah. on three a.m. I had sure. to stop asking. I got to stop asking. There it was go. Friday, yeah. Saturday, yeah. Sunday. Like, like, can, can I get the drill? Can I get the two foot? TJ? Yeah. Come on through, nigga. Come I got your order in the microwave. Yeah. Come on. Come on back. Yeah, we can. Yeah. How'd you know my name? I read your card. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> And then he start clowning on me, and that's when you know you have a good relationship. Oh, like, shit. Not nah, now, nah, because he'd be, nah, he be like, hey, I, I, I don't see that one. I don't see that one girl with you today. I said, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, see, yeah. they got me with the chicken fries. They, B, BK <laughs> not, got me. Not with having the a special fries. bond in the drive thru. Yeah. <laughs> 3 a.m. That's a good conversation yeah, right there. Awesome. 3 a.m. <laughs> Cause he he be curious on why I'm coming home so late every time, and I'm like, it's the same shit as what so you, you build expect. A relationship. It's, it's what What's you the difference expect? between that and like a waiter at a diner that you may frequent after? You know, yeah. you know what I mean. It's all whimsical. <laughs> you, <laughs> I like I like when you hit regular status somewhere, yeah, right. like at a restaurant or something. Right. That means you start getting like not preferential treatment. They just right. start pre planning your orders. I, it's not happened to me a bunch, but it's happened to me at a Burger King. It's happened to me at a Chinese restaurant yeah. off of Ben White. Because oh, their lunch special was too good. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Sesame chicken. Bro, they used to give me the hugest sesame chicken portion, $7.99. Shit. I said, mm, man. Except white rice, broccoli, and I was poor. So oh, <laughs> that meal that was right me. Now. I'm at it the does. grandma for that store. <laughs> I was in there all the time. You survived. Yeah. You, you all did. You should probably still go back and at these places are still there. You might they might still remember you. That Burger <laughs> King time. go back. <laughs> that Burger King, I know that worker ain't there no more. I'm about oh. to say. <laughs> That's I know. Five years later. That'd be rough. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that would be All bad. I know, shit. I know that work ain't there no more. Okay. But that Chinese restaurant might still be there. They, they treated me so right. I should go buy it. I, 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 no, <clears throat> let me tell you. <laughs> I ain't no name. <laughs> I just know to go there. I just know to go there. <laughs> okay. I couldn't tell you what the name was. It's called the China Dragon. Bro, that's all they why is it? Yeah. yeah, why does it matter what the Chinese because they're you're all gonna, the same China gonna... No, there's literally Madam Mams, China House. Uh, yeah, like like uh, China Kitchen, China Buffet, China Buffet, yeah, Triple A is just numbers. Oh, yes. Yeah, no, that's, like that's that. unique. Chi- Triple A is different. Triple A is still, definitely that's a little special. Different. And, and that was very special. special. Yes. Love Hold it. on, I'm gonna read some of these. These Chinese food names no, are ridiculous. It's China here. Fang. China. It's literally like just take something super numbers, stereotypical. Like number one, number two. Combine <laughs> yeah. China, right. like buffet, yeah, and, buffet. and or buffet. Right. Yeah. It's like China Dragon. I promise you, that's a restaurant. It's gonna be good. It will be delicious. Hold on. Rice Bowl Cafe. Hold on. That's a unique Oh, I know name. where Rice Bowl Cafe is at. Hold on. I love, I love Chinese food. So here's the list. China Kitchen, Rice Bowl Cafe, China Dragon Chinese Restaurant, Bamboo what Bistro, Spice Garden, China House Restaurant, China Family Restaurant, Asian Kitchen, China Cafe, oh, China Palace, Super China, China <laughs> Family Restaurant, T. Jin's Restaurant, hey, Oriental Dad, Express, me. Asian Express, Happy that? Dragon Chinese okay. Bistro. Yeah, we still, we still using Oriental. Oriental. <laughs> Yeah, so does that Egg Roll Express. <laughs> I don't know. If I, Asian I, I Cafe's that. fine, right. then I assume. Right. <laughs> it's must just, be just, it's fine. just place and location. Garden Ranch Express. <laughs> yeah. Throw Express I, back. Hey. <laughs> Man, Rice Express is, is probably not Shanghai <laughs> Express. You know it is. But yeah, Rice Bowl is actually pretty good. <laughs> Sichuan River. I've been to Sichuan River. Damn. I kind of want to go there. <laughs> That one gets all, my and attention. you know the worst part is, I bet all of them places take Wait, let me ask, wait, wait, I ask you a question. Oh, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Some of these Asian places serve sushi. Would mm. you eat sushi at a buffet place? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> it is an actual sushi buffet place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. I, it's down I, on I, West, I Westgate. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah been yeah, sick yeah. there plenty of times, but <laughs> I keep going back. Bro, Sichuan Cafe looks real, dude. 
Oh shit. No, 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 like uh so there's they actually have so Austin has traditional Chinese places. Yeah, not oh, yeah. just Chinese. Not, yeah, not yeah, just American yeah, yeah. Chinese places. Uh and that's when you get uh Din Ho, uh mm-hmm. Szechuan Garden. Yeah. Um oh my gosh. When's the last time you've been back to Din Ho? I went to Din Ho, uh I actually ordered it not too long ago. Really? Yeah. Cause they didn't want to serve duck, right? I love their duck. Oh actually. no, they 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 yeah, they got the yeah, Chinese yeah. barbecue mm-hmm. at that spot. Oh yeah. And that Chinese barbecue, let me tell you, put you on game. You 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 spend that little you spend it, it's, it's not cheap, but you spend no. that little 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 twenty thirty, you gon you gon get a meal. Man. You gon get a look, look, look. meal. <laughs> Paycheck time, order you some Din Ho barbecue. I'm telling, I'm you. telling you. Right. Oh bro, get that sauces they got. Oh man, I, man, you got, I know what I'm having this weekend. I know what I'm, I know what I'm having this Saturday. All right, let's talk about some topics because we spent so long talking about food. But don't worry, I'm hungry as fuck. I'm, I'm I so hungry. So I like you know because I, I I have to go back and cook. Yeah. Um, What's open around here after this? I, I Waffle can't. House. Waffle. That's it. That was insane. Don't send me See, there. y'all hear that? Fuck. She was in Waffle Waffle. Harm Waffle, Harm like that shit was <laughs> Waffle. Waffle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just shut up. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You did. You did. You did. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, man, uh, my friends oh, came through. Dude, I'm doing okay. And I and and I was sick too. I, Were you? Yeah, I was. Fuck. I was TK. You can come back this weekend. Uh, I, I owe you big time. I, yeah, I, I, no, I'm gonna come I see terrible. you. Yeah, I'm come see you. Don't worry about that. I'm come see you. Um, all right, I'm gonna flip the slip. We gonna get to this shit and then uh. Move to it. Uh, I'm just picking words. <laughs> and black screen. What's up, beautiful? Play it out, play it out. lovely yeah, yeah, black yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I play gotta it out. put some bass uh, in my voice today. Play the beat out. Play the beat out. Play the beat, <laughs> beat, <laughs> beat out. Play the beat out. Keep on going. Play the beat. Uh, uh, I'm going rap. That's copyrighted. Um, Damn it. I'm kidding. It's not. But <laughs> what's up, y'all? It's yeah. TJ. Uh, welcome to an episode of the Black Slings. Long overdue. Yeah. I know. I know. It's been a I while. know. Y'all get it's mad February. at me when I make this show feel special by making y'all wait a little bit. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I, I made y'all wait too long. It's supposed to be uh, quote unquote monthly, uh, but <laughs> I was sickly, so uh, we didn't get no show. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. We gave them quality. Yeah. So, you know, I wouldn't say all that. <laughs> I think, you know, between the three. And look, hey, we talk about black things such as, has anyone seen the Freak Nick documentary? I want to see it. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'll see it when pretty I get good. home tonight. But things like that. Okay. <laughs> I'm Doing talking, that. by the way. Uh, uh, okay, so time out, 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 time out. Uh, so, 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 Randy, that is a good point. That is a good point. And actually, I need to do a better job at relaying when I'm going to be places <laughs> and correlating that with the folks yeah. that are in said places. That is 100% on me. But I will tell you what. Uh, Cause I, I, you know, I really wasn't thinking about Destin because Destin ain't close to a lot of people, mm. so I don't even think about it. But, but I uh, will likely be in the Miami and or Tampa areas as well. I'll make sure we can make a connection. I nice. promise. I promise. Connect my with the friends. Scouts honor. I have a lot of traveling this year because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my. Oh, that goes into a different thing. Yeah. Uh, I'll talk about that afterwards. But uh, yeah, I'm, I, I'm for. I, I, I need to start putting TJ's schedule out. So if you're around those areas and you can properly coordinate, I can get better ahead of it. Because, oh, you know what? Kill me. Uh, when, I, when I was in Japan, my fan was in Japan too. Mm-hmm. But our schedule, like, I just didn't know the schedule. The schedule mm-hmm. line just w- didn't work. Mm-hmm. So I was in a different city and they were at the time. I would have done some rearranging yeah. had I put that out there a little earlier. So I'm going to let y'all know where I'm going. So that way you could come Carmen San Diego it up with me. <laughs> <laughs> that said... I'm passing over to the other lovely black folk on the other side. I've introduced myself already. I will not do it again. This man. <laughs> Welcome, it's your boy Uncle Hotel. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Hotel Hour. Yay! <laughs> okay, look. Let me let me let me let me put y'all on game. If I let Jordan. <laughs> I mean, I gotta feel like a parent would tell me over here. If I let Jordan do too much, our show titles will get us kicked off. <laughs> so, so, so I gotta, so, so 
I literally, I, 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 let peek behind the scenes. I let these niggas also have an input. I, I let these niggas also have an input on the show. Like, what was the title I said? Negroes be wildin'. I said, I said, Twitch doesn't allow those things at all. All right, mm. so it's trying to get us hits. So, so, so trying to views. It was trying to get us views. Traffic. <laughs> That's the hashtag we can put on it. You know. Don't worry, I'll drag all the black for the man. But talk, I want talk, a Cuban talk, and you, little yeah. Havana. So have you, have you gone know. to Miami? No, no, you I'm won't not leave. A big Florida. No, you won't leave though. Fan, but I live in Texas, so it's no, like talk, about, have you? Where have you been in Florida? Make, Orlando. Okay, Disney that's World, that. That's not which, a that's not a good means representation. I never want to go back. We stopped in Tallahassee as well. Yeah, that's not a good representation. <laughs> okay, <laughs> because I would say I loved Tampa a lot. Yeah. I thought the drive to Orlando. Orlando's just there for the other shit. A lot of some people are more fond of me. But it's just there for you to do the other shit there. Yeah. Miami, I genuinely well, like. Yeah, Outside the, of the airport, that's, that's the, the Miami airport go, sucks sure. ass. Really? Worst airport. <laughs> no I hate shit. it. It's like a football field with nothing that can Oof. help you transport oh, yourself man. faster across the way. You know how Dallas airport got shuttles and shit? Yeah. Miami airport got the Shoe Lakes Express. Really? <laughs> it's fucking terrible but we have so much black content and so much black news that i'm gonna keep at a pretty oh, brisk pace because we got to. Uh, because uh we'll be here all night yeah. on topic. <laughs> we could talk about this show could have just been p diddy um Boys. but we have a little bit of diddy in your yeah. life yeah. a little bit of candace as your wife oh, a no, little no, bit of <laughs> divorce yes <laughs> uh, <Divorce. laughs> we got, got a lot of things on the table here today yeah. uh and and we get celebrated with you. But 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 before we even get started into everything, thank you guys so much for the support. We have been doing gangbusters and, 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 and bangers on all the other social platforms as well. Um, but, but continue to keep on inviting people to, you know, if you can't do Patreon, hey, make sure you like, comment, sub, so share, share the message. We want to make sure that we get all of this lovely goodness everywhere else. Yeah. And then for those Patreon folks, don't worry, we got something special for you. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> There's been a lot of Sammy features on there, but uh, 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 the same Sickness is gone. So uh, uh, if there's some custom, delicious black content y'all want, um, we'll do something a little bit. Now, you know, we do everything on the Black Slings, but we can do something like a like a more in-depth review or something. We don't do reviews of black shows and media. We can do we get creative with some of the things that we might throw on there. And so if you have any ideas, toss it our way. But also be on the lookout for some for, for some options on Patreon with that. Sweet. But I was like, I, cause I was like trying to be like, you know what? We always talk about everything and anything here on the Black Slings. We do. I don't want to ever limit that. I was like, what's something that we don't do? Maybe a review or something. You're like, you yeah, know, hey, never. watch that good time show that we all are excited Fuck. for. And that's actually where I'm gonna start. Yeah, I wanna kick off I wanna kick off our times with a little <laughs> George, bit of good time. George's not happy about this. So, uh, and of course, this is the black news wrap up. So y'all know how this goes. If y'all have any topics y'all want us to talk about, throw Roll it in here. In we there. have a bunch. Real, so I, I might interact. not get hit. But if it doesn't, that's okay. Love y'all. All right, so <clears throat> gotta gotta say that before you play this good time shit. Play play it. Do I have to? Yes, at least a little of it. Is the trailer already out? Oh yeah. You you haven't seen the oh, you trailer? haven't seen the trailer? No. You just knew it existed. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Oh. 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 Thing. Fuck. Uh, it sets us back a few decades. Ah. Uh, a few. I got you, Jordan. <laughs> play it, play I'ma it. I'ma get your blood uh, up. Just play it. You about to pass out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait till you see who's a part of it. That's. Uh, I just, I cannot believe, I cannot believe. Okay, so let me put some context here. Okay. Good times. The be- I, I, I gotta do a little bit of Like, the whole generation don't even know what the fuck good times is, and this is gonna be all they know. This is gonna be all they know. Uh, Tommy, no can, you, can, you, can you give some context on the original Good Times, the real Good Times? Uh, it's okay, so it's a Norman Lear show, and Norman Lear passed away this this early this year. Unfortunately, it was like 112, so it's fine. <laughs> but like Norman Lear, had, he brought us, uh, I believe, Sanford and the Sun, Jeffersons, and Good Times. And Good Times is probably the most depressing of those three shows. And I, I think what's happening also, but no one talks about what's happening for whatever reason. But yeah, no Good Times. Was yeah, it was about the Evans family and their struggles in uh, Cabrini Green, I believe, in Chicago. Was it Cabrini Green? I, I believe it was Cabrini it's, Green. So Cabrini Green is real? Oh yeah, no, Cabrini Green is a real. I place. thought it was fake. That's not just for candy, no, it's man. Not fake. That shit is very real and very terrible. <laughs> but <laughs> like, no, I think it's gentrified now. But, oh, but it but, used to be back in the seventies for sure. And 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 Tommy, it has one yeah. of those iconic, oh, absolutely iconic, iconic theme songs. Theme songs. Yeah. 
from Television City. I need to have a conversation with this. I'm tired of his being broke. <laughs> YouTube Red. <laughs> <laughs> Message. <laughs> oh. I have a complaint for HR. <laughs> right, put the hat on. HR I speaking. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> You're curious of what TJ does. I'm HR. <laughs> and finances occasionally, but I don't like to touch those. Sir, stop stalling. I'm trying to avoid it. Oh, we're trying to give homage to the weird. <laughs> Temporary layoffs. Good times. The cradle ripoffs. Scratching and surviving. Yeah. Hanging in a tower. I know no one knows what it is. Right now. <laughs> we lucky we got him. Do, 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 do. Good times. Even if you didn't watch the show, yeah, you would be feeling story. nostalgia for it. Two fun oh, yeah. facts. Yeah. The reason why they killed off John Amos is because John Amos, the man, the actor, wanted to get them out of the hood, and the producers like, no, we nah, don't want that. They actor. stay here. So they killed him. Yeah, they killed him off. Yeah, he was also, very disruptive. Very disruptive. Yeah, yeah. Also, I did not know Walona mm -hmm. sung the theme song for the Jeffersons. I did not know that either. She did. Yes. No. I shit. didn't know that shit. Yes, she did. That voices do match up. God if you go damn. back and listen to it, you like. Yep. I hear it. You totally I did not know it. that until I was reading it Ain't on Facebook. That some shit. Yeah. Fun fact. I don't know. She was singing. She actually sung background uh, for Rick James. That I do believe. Yeah. That's easier to believe. Yeah. So a couple of fun facts. Damn. Well. <laughs> damn, damn, yeah. Damn. yeah. So you feeling good? You feeling, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you love that? You brought you come back. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. You ain't gonna rush this. You ain't gonna rush this. We want you to feel, <laughs> want you to feel nostalgia. Yeah. Feel like, quality black content. Yeah. It's like watching the Proud Family, but broker. <laughs> I, no, wish. I wish. I wish. I like the I Proud wish. Family. Oh, shit. The Proud yeah. Family makes proud you feel respect. Yeah, you feel proud from the Proud Family. This will not make you feel proud at all. Oh, we got a first time chatting, TJ. I have important... Okay. Uh, oh, wait, sir. So, so y'all wipe in or do y'all... Sh <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know you know what, that. President Lane? Yeah, you can say whatever you want in chat. Uh, uh, questionable. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck you talking about? <laughs> so, flipping the script, yeah. we gonna do the thing. <laughs> That's some random ass chat. That's a, I just thought there would be... Do you be wiping and y'all let y'all shit cross? Bitch, ask. Nigga, find out. <laughs> so what do you know about the good... So you know it's, do you know it's anime? <laughs> Oh, no. I was anime. I, uh, and so what? Another for to say yeah, what? Yeah, man, what? <laughs> <laughs> Thank so, you, so I had to come. Yeah. Thank so you. I had to come off this verse. Just said what? T T. What? T -T. Yeah, we need no, some. We yeah. need a little clarification there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of what the fucks. All right, okay, continue. Wait. I mean, so, if you're watching us on the toilet, that's okay. Right. <laughs> sure. But like, don't be asking that. Yeah. Well, I also. Make sure you tell me who you are before I meet you in person, cause, cause I gotta. I don't, I don't know. I don't trust your handshake. Let's don't have a meet and greet. Oh. That's, a, that's a high five. That's not a high five. That's a shake. Hi, how you doing? Uh, that's a pal. Hey. <laughs> All what? right. So I know it's anime. Animation. 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 Excuse me, not anime. Animation. Animation. Like anime. If you want to call it that, yeah. And I read about it on <laughs> Facebook. And that's how I figured it. I'm like, oh, they making a cartoon? What? I thought it was a joke. I thought it was a joke too. Yeah. But apparently not. And now they got a trailer. Yeah, it, it came out as fast. Oh, yeah. And, Real uh, fast. Dude, I don't even want to fucking. Okay, let's get I to know. it. It's too late it. now. Let's go to it. This is the last time I will watch this trailer. It's the last time I'm watching anything related to this. Yeah, no shit. Except we will. News. Yes, of course, JB. <laughs> that's the least surprising yeah, thing. Yeah, who? Of Hey, you know what? He's always hustling. He's hustling. No matter what. Oh. I didn't even know Steph Curry was on. This. Why is he producing things? Well, I don't know what exec. Now, granted, executive producer means a lot. It Rock does. Time. It could just but then I see Seth name. Farland. I'm like, what? And who's this? Is voiced by one person? It sounds like it. Who's Norman? Who, who's Norman? Norman is the original creator. Yeah, right. Of, yeah, okay. he's dead now. So that's oh like, wow. So, so, so he don't even know. No, he does not. <laughs> that man is unaware. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. And it's so. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Well, we, what we should do the next Blacksons episode is review that oh. and give our take. 
means we have to watch it. I don't want to watch Serenity, it. your band. <laughs> Talking about that was funny. No. I, no. <laughs> I hate. Tommy, Tom, can you start off? Because I. It, got, it said, what do you want me to say? It, it said concentrate. Who the dummy now? Really? I mean, I mean we don't have all. That, think, it would take the whole show for us to like, point out everything wrong with that shit. But who is this for? That's probably my question. It's like, who who's this for? Because if it's supposed to be for black people, you miss the, like... I mean, you're kind of feeling that void that yeah. the boondocks left. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nah, don't, don't you, you ever dare. put don't that... Don't, don't put those... Don't and I'm going to talk dare. about that in a second. No, man. Don't... That's... That's... No. He knew what he was doing <laughs> saying that shit. No. <laughs> now, go that's ahead. That's more on par with the PJ. Even the PJs was better than this. Yeah, it didn't age well. So yeah, no, it's yeah, yeah, I agree. But yes, it's this is just you took the name Good Times. That's all you you had just a ratchet ass show. It's the fact that <laughs> Steph Curry put his name on this and thought that man, this is gonna be hot. And Seth MacFarlane, don't let and Seth MacFarlane, yeah. which is even it worse. Took a dead man's name and threw his on there too. Cause we ain't going down alone. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn, man. Oh my god. All right. You know how I feel about this type of thing. Yeah. This is not this your is, kind of this thing. This is Peppin stepping, pulling on this. It's the Tyler bullshit. Perry shit. It's the Tyler Perry shit yeah. times 50. I ain't going to disrespect Tyler Perry like this. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. I, yeah. I almost choked. I, I, yeah. I can't even I, do that. Um, <laughs> to your point, who's that for? Who's this for? It's not for fans of Good Time. And it's not for fans. Uh, oh, I know who this is for. The low and common denominator. This is this is for people who idealize the black stereotype. Yeah. And I'm not saying you can't have depictions of the struggle. I'm just saying Good Times was actually one that was. That was like one of the realest things we had in the culture. That was one of the that first representations we also had. I didn't think it would be touched. If I'm being honest. I didn't well, think about it's that. Not, okay, first, my first problem, a fundamental problem with it, is it's nothing like Good Times. It's nothing in relation no. to Good Times. It's not even the same show. They took the name in the family's name, and that is literally it. It is nothing else. Not the same humor, nothing remotely close to the original. Somebody said it should be on Zeus Network. <laughs> it should, should be on Tubi. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, the whole what? thing, and, 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 I, and I swear, I swear on life. I don't want to hear nobody compare this to the Boondocks because Boondocks, the whole point about that satire is that it was genuinely funny and executed in a way to where you watch every episode, you know what they're trying to do, and it yeah. felt so relatable that it was on point. We got the joke. You got the joke. Yeah. But also, whenever they leaned into a certain joke, they weren't afraid to lean into it, but right. it wasn't all just, it was never really just Ratchet. No. It was never it was a message to it. Like, like the most Ratchet it got was Magnificent. Oh yeah, it's and and, 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 like, and there was a yeah. whole context around that. Right, where he comes to be a delivery driver in like the fucking third season. <laughs> yeah. The Boo Docs is genuinely one of my top five shows of all time. It's best so shows. funny. It's one of the best. Oh, yeah, it's easy, one of the best producers. Easily, Comedy yeah. shows. It's top three. It's, it's it's one of the few shows that makes me consistently laugh anytime I watch it. Yeah. I can watch clips from it, and they'd be out of pocket. They'd be, and at for the time, there's still, there's some things that, like, you know, there's some things that wouldn't even fly today, but in the Boondocks context, you'd be like, I get what they were going for. Yeah. It, it was, Boondocks was smart, and this has no one even involved that is smart, and one is dead again. So, but I don't trust is, Steph Curry with this. But I damn sure don't trust Seth MacFarlane. This feels like Seth MacFarlane got the black pass and said, fuck it. I couldn't I do a Cleveland, Cleveland show. show yeah. So now I got, now I got the actors, now I got the checks. We good. My problem, but the other part is, they tried to have a hint of, oh, it's the system, it's some deep shit. No, y'all ain't doing some deep shit. Whenever you're perpetuating it's the no same way. bullshit. Yeah, this is nowhere near deep. What? What? It shit was crowbarred in at the end. It's like, okay, you did all the you. You caused more problems in this trailer. <laughs> you had time to solve. You got a fucking drug dealing baby you have a on drug some. Dealing you, you like look? They trying to do that Stewie shit. Baby thing yeah. is like no, you got some drug dealing baby. A drug dealing baby. Assess with Stewie boobs. is a is a genius, a mastermind, but the black baby's a drug dealing baby, huh? Come on, come on, man. I just if you lean into and and, and it's always black stereotypes are the ones. Why does it remind me of Baby's kids? Hell, baby, nah, baby. Even kids. Baby's kids. Yeah, I'm about to say that. that was better than this. I don't, I don't get it. Like with, with. 
I get real frustrated with these. Yeah, you don't like things like this because I'm like, there's so much, con especially with animation. It's taking up space. It's taking up space for something that could have been good. Could have been great in black animation, especially like which which is already. It ain't so much limited. in there, but the shit we we have, it's a standard. But the, this, this the, don't live up to it. But we still haven't answered the question, which is, who is this targeted for? Yeah, true. I don't know. Ratchet people. Who's this targeted for? The same people who I they're don't... trying to like. But I, I feel like this is even disrespectful. Mm. I even think this is disrespectful. It's for white people too. Thank you. That's about it's for white. It's, it's for all that the people. Precisely what it's all, I was it's all, say. No, I'm not afraid to say it. It's all for yeah. the people who are who find it humorous. Who find black stereotypes humorous to the point of like that is definitely what I think black people are like. So it's shucking and jiving type shit. That's you know, for a certain type of white person, that's still entertainment. So yeah, no, that to me, that's that's what this is. It's just don't even start with the magic negro shit. That's that's just out oh of pocket. Oh my god, yeah, we didn't. I didn't see that. So I'm that. not even Did gonna go there. One? I saw it. I'm not okay. even gonna go there. Oh my I'm, god, that's out of pocket. All I'm saying specifically this with this show here. How do we go from the Cosby show? I know we're talking about Bill Cosby. How do we go from the Cosby show to this shit? I know it's I, not the... No, I, mean, I, 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 I know said, keep it in the same camp. That's why I said, how you go from the boondocks to this? we've like, had how a do you whole go from conversation smart? about... That like, makes just no sense the, to the, me. Like, just black shows being gone in general, let alone just animated shows. Just, uh, just fucking a race from the ether. Yeah. And I'm so not quality saying... quality would be part of that, too. I'm not saying you can't have shows yeah. that are dumb, catered to... Like, like that are just dumb, yeah. right? Like, that's that's fine. Right. It's not the issue here. <laughs> it's just every stereotype under the sun jammed Throwing into that, one show. Yeah. That is depressing. With and then no, trying to act like there's a message say. there? Just tacking on a message to some shit that it shouldn't be tacked on to. Like, it's just. Shoot, the Proud family just came back and their shit was good. Yeah. <laughs> if Boondocks came back, it would be better than this. Like, it. It's better options than this. I yeah, don't I don't get it. Like I know that there are black creatives out there that could have came up with something far better than this, but Netflix doesn't fucking care about that. Like it's not a part of what Netflix is. <laughs> I just don't get it. I just don't get it. I just don't get it. They're not like like there's so much high quality. I'm not like I said. I'm not saying everything has to cater to the top. Like, no. I'm not saying everything has to have a message. No, just be good. Just be good. Just, be just look good because even the animation don't look good everything here. Everything has I'm just to be smart. Out. Like just, yeah, no, animation looks terrible. I'm just trying to figure out. When they're going into these meetings yeah. to pitch an idea, whose idea was it to pit, to pitch this? Was it Seth MacFarlane or was it Stephen Curry? Who they might, they who, might have gotten together whose idea, a party and went in together. Yeah, like whose yeah. I, whose idea was this this bullshit? I'm just trying to figure that out because for me, if I'm Steph Curry and I'm putting my name on this shit, no I should shit. be ashamed. No shit. Same thing with Seth MacFarlane. Like you this, have to have seen this trailer yeah. or episodes of this show before. You know, you yeah. let this even come out. I, I, I don't get it. Like, yeah. who pitched this and who decided, man, this is going to be a good idea to put my name on this shit? Like, who? Seth MacFarlane. It's it, because it had Seth MacFarlane's name on it. <sighs> yeah. You think, particularly from a business perspective, like, oh, Seth MacFarlane, cool. Yeah, more money. so. Because if Seth MacFarlane put his name on it, his name was the only one that was showing up on there. Yeah, they would have been outraged. But because of the fact well, they you, put Steph Curry on that fucking thing, Steph, said, oh, it's okay. Steph we'll let it by. Listen, Steph Curry is the only black name out of those three. Like, you know what I mean? So. I don't get it. That says a lot too. It's and what is dead? Why are you putting Norman Lear's name on this shit? And you know, I have a feeling it's no way he would have signed off on this shit. Not in his right mind. Who? Norman Lear. Well, he, he did. That's what I'm saying. I also, also, that's what I'm saying. It's like, look, I, no, no, fault to Steph Curry. No. Nah, no, yeah, no, 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 not to, to to make sure that cuz if it's one to three that's the one to three it's a token yes what one to three you know and someone who's separated from the struggle i uh, no nah, nah, i need someone who really like, separated from the struggle <laughs> I, I, this I, is not look this is not a skin tone issue this is no. <laughs> this is uh it needed to be more black people in the room over control of this property cuz this is not a property you just do this shit to actually you no, shat like, on it you graffitied it you shat on it. That's what you did. To good time. Something that's really important. They grew up with that shit. Like, come good. on, man. Nobody should from the original show, show sign off on this. It's insulting. Fuck no. And anyone who did is definitely hard up for money, I'm sure. Like, it's, I, was there, I was like, I was like, I was like, look, look, no fault to Steph Curry. No, again, he just grew up. 
And that worked for the NBA. They moved to Toronto. They were privileged. Like, 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 you know, yeah, like, they, they were okay. So, I mean, hey, what look, I'm... Fuck it, I'll bring it up. He has light skin. So <laughs> no, like, no, don't do wasn't. that. Because he's... No, don't do that. No, don't do that. light skin tendencies. Don't give the dark skins a bad rep out here on that shit again. What do you no. mean, give us a bad rep? We the ones taking the heat. <laughs> yes, what well, is well, niggas making shows like this? <laughs> You get me on my light skin. I, I was right, like, no, ahead. no, bad Tommy. But what I will say is like, y'all, like y'all, 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 we just deserve better. That's what I always feel like. We deserve better. Absolutely. And again, we deserve shit that's actually funny. I've been waiting for a show that hits in the same vein as Boondocks does. Yeah, I'm going to say, well, this is it, right? Like it was Boondocks and this. I'm trying to think of any like, kind of black animation. Like bi- black adult animation? Black adult animation. I think Boondocks, Boondocks was it. Now. Boondocks is the last one. Yeah, there's the last one. Boondocks and fucking good times. That's what we got. That's fucked up. I'm trying. It had to be. No, I think that's it. I honestly think that's it. Depressing. That's really bad. That's the really depressing. Yeah. No. It's 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 uh, black down. Wanda Black-down. Sykes Black-down. is on it. Black-down. Her Black-down. voice yeah. is very recognizable. I know that's Wanda Sykes. Just oh like, yeah. That's JB Smooth. Oh, Black Dynamite. Black Dynamite. Yeah, Black yeah. Dynamite. Yeah. No. Uh, but, but Black Dynamite. That's right. Uh, but okay. That was Black, good. Yeah, to Black yeah, Dynamite's that was point. Good too. They do it. They, so they lean into. It's actually their seventies. Lean into a lot of stereotypes. Yeah. They do a bunch of. It's but a way to it's do over, it. It's like over the top. It looks good, first of all. It per, looks yeah. good. Oh, it yeah. looks amazing, yeah. And I don't even, I like, like Black Dynamite doesn't even land a bunch for me all the time. But when it does, I'm like, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Black Dynamite ain't boondocks, but they, it was it was a quality to it. You know, we have nothing bad to say about Black Dynamite. No. You know because what I mean? Even when it leaned into the over top yeah. stuff, it was like, literally the whole thing, the whole premise, the whole the thing that made it funny was that it is, it's, it's, a, it's derivative yeah. of Black exploitation. Yep. Absolutely. That's why everything is was, extra. They knew what the joke was. We got it. End of story. This shit, it's no joke. It's just make, black people is the joke. That's all I see when I see shit like that. Black people are the joke. No, that's it. We, it's nothing to it. It's no satire. It's not, you know, a clever thing. It's just, it is lazy and it just goes for the lowest common denominator. And I thought we were done with this. So it's a bit. A bit disheartening seeing shit like this. Here are our black animated shows. Oh, Mike Tyson Mike mysteries, Tyson. which is good. Uh, we we have Cannon Busters, which I've never seen. It's black anime. Hurts good though. Uh, we have a uh, anime that have a uh, uh, black in the title. Uh, so you know, not black people, <laughs> black in the title. Damn, uh, we got little bit. Got little Bill. Oh, uh, I remember little Bill. Uh, little Bill uh, and Static Shock. Cool. Uh, <laughs> That's black, it. Oh, class of three thousand, but I talk, but I put you yeah, on that. Yeah, you put me yeah, on that. Yeah, I remember that. But yeah, um, no, that's it. Uh, that's like a handful of shows. No, nah, I just. That's wild. Yeah, I think that's all. Moving on. Yeah. Yes, moving please on. do. Gross. Fuck. All right, I'm gonna let you. Uh, this is a pick your own adventure. No, oh, no. Y'all want a quick one? You want to go through a quick one real sure. quick? Sure. Okay. Well, <laughs> I know that you were giggling about this one because I think you read it on the side over there. Ellis, you lost today. Or today, right? Yesterday. Yesterday, Yesterday. cool. And and there's some articles out there Mm -hmm. that are covering this conversation topic. Now, uh, Tommy, have you been away from this one? No, I don't know. uh, Jordan, actually, since you're fresh on your mind, would you mind leaning us in on this one? Give me some context. So, there were two articles that were written by LSU. One was by the head coach that Mm -hmm. she threatened to sue if they released the article, and they did. And then they followed up with the LSU head coach and said, I didn't read it. But then the L.A. Times came out with an article and they described the LSU women, which is majority black, as dirty debutantes. That's what she was called. That is these that is kind of like Don Imus calling the Rutgers ladies yeah, nappy headed hoes. Yeah, yeah. But they apologized for that. Former players have told. Yeah. No, 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 no. You, you did. The Washington Post has contacted them and offered to let them be anonymous mm. in a story if they'll say negative things about me. The Washington Post has called former disgruntled players to get negative quotes to include in their story. Now this is the head coach story that Washington They're Post They're ignoring the 40-plus years of positive stories that, that people or they have heard from people about me. But you see, reporters who give a megaphone to a one-sided embellished version of things aren't trying to tell the truth. They're trying to sell newspapers and feed the click machine. Oh yeah. She's been. I now granted. The LA Times article. Uh, that's just LA. stripped from the fucking really? internet. Really? They, they pulled it off they already? I mean that shit is not like I can't even pull <laughs> this up. Um but 
Long story short, uh, oh man, uh, you know, I can't support you, Fox News. I got to go to some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, time out. Time. Mm-mm. Put it on the screen. Let's go. Put it on the screen. I searched up dirty debutants. Oh, no. And we have to, this should have been an incognito tab. This is why you cannot call them dir- dirty debutants. Oh. <laughs> hey. First two search things are porno <laughs> and X videos. You know, you did not search that before. Oh, it was, it's like 18 dirty debutants. That's a real franchise of porn. You, I remember it back in the day. I I had two of them DVDs. This is fucks. I had two of them DVDs. Of them DVDs. Um, yeah. Bro. You call them. You didn't Google search. So this is the 2024 dog, version of Nathan Dog, dog, dog. Yeah. 227 yeah, videos. Literally. God that's, damn. That's what they wanted to fucking say. Now, granted. God damn. You go, yeah, you go from later, that to that. But, okay, I'm not. But Jesus. seriously, that's problematic. You didn't search this up before you They just type. said it, of course. They, they just did. said shit. All right, let's go to Daily Mail Online right quick and pop it up. Uh, but yeah. <clears throat> get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. I'll get it. Whatever. <laughs> I'll go back to this article. They unblock block me. Um... <laughs> It's taken me two days to write an apology because I wanted it to be as thoughtful as possible and respond to my situation I created. The words, I have been not been asked to write by anyone but my paper, uh, but they need to be expressed so I can own up to my mistake. Words matter as a journalist. Blah, 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 blah. I sincerely, you just don't say the shit. Wait, who was the person that wrote the article? Uh, and was that the man up there? Was that him? No, that's, that looks like Bobby Herbert. Um, ben Block. Oh. Uh, let's, let's, let's you know, do, you know exactly image. what this person looks like. Do it now. Stop trying to. Oh, let's do L.A. Times. Yeah, L.A. Times. Oh yeah, that 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 tracks. Dirty Debbie Times. <laughs> now look, you, I co-sign it. These two co-sign it. We co-sign shit talking in sports any which way possible. Anytime. Literally. We love. It. We love the shit talk. And I don't think that's gender exclusive. If you want to shit talk oh, in sports, yeah, it's, it's do it. Perfectly do fine. It. That's the only it. place you can do it. Do you, do boo-boo. Yeah. Semicolon, however, comma. <laughs> don't resort to dumbass shit that you could have looked at, like that anyone could have peer-reviewed for two seconds and said, I don't, I don't think that's the one. Yeah. I don't think that's, that's there the one out here? there. Oh, were there editors that let this pass? Yeah, I have so no many shit. questions about LA Times in general. Oh, because LSU we lost? Y'all know, them, newspapers y'all know they had them, that big ass uh, layoff. <laughs> so they ain't got too many good editors very, left. I mean, I've seen a lot of typos mm, and a lot sheesh, of things man. that shouldn't have typos. Dirty debutantes? Knowing that's a majority black? I feel like that was a subconscious title that was in his head because he he remembers the same porn franchise I did. I guess I'm just trying to figure out the context of using that form, that term, dirty it's just Johnson. right like, on what, his, what, what, like what, the tip what, of his brain. What was, <laughs> what was the purpose of using that He text? thought he was, clearly he thought he was being clever. Actually, he says to himself, <clears throat> oh. I tried to be clever with my phrasing. There you go. Yeah. One team's attitude. Very true, yeah. And it what, sounds what? like someone trying to be over. He said what? With one team's attitude, yes. That's how you describe an attitude? A dirty debutante? I mean, I know what a debutante is, but a dirty debutante? Yeah. He didn't think. You know he didn't think. You know full damn yeah, well he didn't like think. like a man that thinks too often. Shit. <laughs> that make Don Imus look better. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. It's still this <laughs> shit. Still, yeah. <laughs> I remember that shit. That oh, he said it clear, too. Oh, oh he made sure you heard oh. it with He's his like, old ass. He was like, oh, let me hit it. Oh, let me hit it. Oh. Yeah, like he really went in there. Yeah. Oh, my it's God. It's very similar to that, though. It's just like, Jesus. come on, man. Yeah. I would just say, you know. Why don't I keep drinking this? This is horrible. <laughs> hey, Stockholm Syndrome's a thing. You fine. <sighs> Look, that was a quick one. Just, man, like, writing is not, it's not, I'm not going to act like it's easy. You got to be on top of your toes. You got to be clever. You got to be captivating. You just don't, like, and you can, and in sports, it's like the safest place to not fuck up. I just yeah. don't know how you fucked up. you a lot of leeway. You could say a lot about any team, really. Yeah. But these are just college girls playing sports. College women, excuse me, not girls. College women playing sports. Yeah. And already a situation I'm gonna take it there. That like women's sports has already got issues. 
with proper marketing, advertising, and things of that nature. <laughs> Shit, this is like the, one of the most successful things in America when it comes to no college women's, women's basketball, is in, there, especially in recent years. Yeah. This game, crazy. I won LSU was the biggest game for women's sports. The rematch. Thirteen point yeah. five million watched that game yeah. rematch. Crazy. Yeah. So at a time where it's at its peak, when it's actually about to pr- break the precipice of something, and they're on the cusp of something. They're on the cusp of something. WNBA can figure that part out too. Look, yeah, Caitlin <laughs> Clark is supposed to be going there, so <laughs> I don't know what you. Yeah, no, they, got, they really got to figure that. Who's watching out, that? Man. Man. <laughs> I, got, I, got to figure, I feel. I like. 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 I'm like. How, I really how, how do you? Like, I, 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 I genuinely curious. I just don't understand how the viewership numbers for college, the college is sports bigger than the WNBA. Can't go to WNBA and just that means people drops need off. to be look, fired. Look, I got tickets to the Phoenix revamp. Mercury game. Y'all want to come? <laughs> Listen, no, no, fuck that. No, I got him. Hey, watch, watch this. Watch this. What? I went to three Houston Comet games. When? Before. When? With, with uh, Cheryl Swoops? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, of course. With exactly. Exactly. Those were the days. <laughs> she was playing Lisa Leslie? Yeah. <laughs> it was the is, days. And so, I mean. Bring I, that back. You, there, you knew you had something there. There just has to be marketing and things around it to make it, like, pro- proliferate. The because letter. the whole, this goes into another thing. But I'm always like, look, it all just comes down to marketing and, yeah. and properly, like, changing the notion <laughs> around the sport itself, which is not easy to no, do. it's hard to do. It's very <laughs> hard the, to do. Not the but w- with the <laughs> NBA being in that weird place, it kind of is now. Yeah. This is the perfect time for the WNBA to really figure it out. It would be. So they put them in the video game. I'm like, <laughs> not these WNBA players got suits from the Shirley Caesar collection <laughs> with the big ass bra shoulder pads and shit. You know what? <laughs> I'm so done with you this. You thinking 90s yeah. WNBA? <laughs> <laughs> not the Kurt Franklin suit. Uh uh-uh, uh, go on now. <laughs> go on, child. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> I love the WNBA. What's your name? Brittany Grana. God damn, Brittany. <laughs> what, was, what was been through a lot? Shit, <laughs> that rush thing she was crazy. Really that was a lot. crazy. Yeah. I just, I like, I would say that when it comes to some of these things, right, this is like a perfect time for college basketball, WNBA, to figure something out. Yeah. And I don't know what. Like, I don't know what they could do. Did the NBA they, well, they, invest in more money? In the couple, last couple of years. They have. Didn't they do Plus that? The and they also raised the page. They yeah. Incorpor- didn't uh, one of the stars of the WNBA go up against Steph Curry? And yeah. The yeah. Like, they're yeah. integrating. So, yeah. they're trying to do something. I mean, that's hard to do. So, would it be – So I mean, I know we're talking about a little bit of WNBA, but wouldn't it be – I know they want to be on the same level as the men. Yeah. But wouldn't it be better just kind of lower to go a little bit so we can see them dunk? Like, isn't that more exciting to see – them dunk maybe or no if they would want that that's the thing that's what well was like brianna oh, stewart look. was like no we don't want that we yeah. want the goal to be on the same height same as the level, guys and like, i'm just like I want entertainment okay but i want to see some dunks you know yeah, i want to see y'all thrash on each yeah. other shit like barely i mean you don't have to drop it low, low. yeah i just want to see entertainment look i also want steroids back in baseball so <laughs> like yeah no man the sports is supposed to be entertaining pre so pre Pre Pink Panther Santa Salsa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I think Pre Pepto Bismol right. Santa Salsa. Yeah. Well, I, I think that we're so. Hmm, I think there's a there's a tricky notion there because, on one hand, right. Change I think every rule to every sport. No, no, no. Uh, well, there's some sports where I think it's a little bit more. Okay, soccer. Fair. Totally cool. Tennis. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Like I think Not most volleyball is only women, really. Uh, yeah. that get. I mean, <clears throat> well, that's usually like that's advertised. Act, yeah. Uh, w, so basketball inherently um, that's the one where I'm a little bit more iffy on yeah. mainly because I get your point mm-hmm. right it's like I think but I also am like you know by the time you get to college by the time you get to the NBA, NBA it's all really just tall, tall sure. women playing so yeah. it's not like like because I think a lot of those considerations you might want to think through like high school where there's probably like oh I'm not getting a six foot like six foot five woman every step of the way right, right. true um and in gen, but like by the time you get to by the time you get to WMA, I imagine could be wrong here. I imagine it could be a matter of yeah, like you know you're dealing with a lot of taller women, and Absolutely. so therefore they could totally do that. I think it's a training thing, right? They disincentivize the whole aspect leading up to that. Mm. Like I mean, just plain and simple. Yeah. 
don't learn how to dunk overnight, but they also not like really encouraged in their league, not encouraged in women's basketball, not encouraged anywhere. Yeah. Therefore, it's not something that's commonly put into practicum. I, I yeah. say to increase the value of it, bring back 70s rules for them. Because in my opinion, like that's what's missing. That's why I don't watch much NBA these days. That's why I root for Draymond Green. Like, <laughs> I need, like I'm used to that '90s shit, man. Yeah, that dark skin brand of basketball. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. the Sean Kemp's of the yeah. world. Yeah, Larry Johnson. Larry Johnson, Grandma like, Ma. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, like it's it was it was just it was beautiful. It was a it was just enough aggression. Oh. It was enough physicality to it. And now it's just we got fucking LeBron James flopping every other day. <laughs> No one wants to see that shit. So that's why I said, like, hey, get get Kate, look, you got your Magic Johnson and Larry Bird. Sure. You got your Kate, your Kate, Caitlin Clark and who's LSU? Uh, uh, Angel Reese. Angel Reese, Angel yeah. Like, look, you got something to work with. But that both of I'm assuming, going to the WNBA. So work it, with that. But where did it taper off? And bring back off? elbowing. But where did it taper off? Because, I mean, we had, I remember loving Cheryl Swoops. I remember loving oh, Houston Rockets. Not Houston Rockets. He used to comment, yeah. He used to comment. It was great. Watching Lisa Leslie. I loved it. It was Thompson. a lot of fun. Big lips. Thompson. I loved uh, yeah. looking at lips. But then where did it go wrong? Like, how did, how are the comments not even in the, the league anymore? Right. Like, it just. How did that happen? Weird. I, I, again, it's I wild. Think strategic marketing. I mean, they won like the most championships of any. Marketing. Yeah. It has to be marketing because yeah. there's no other way something that was so popular back in the 90s, early 2000s just tapered off like that. Yeah, it, it someone did. Look, I don't know who's in charge of the WNBA. <laughs> they are not doing. They haven't done well in a very long <laughs> time. Man. Who's the commissioner? <laughs> oh, God, no. The way it's playing out, man, like someone who's not good at their job because, I mean, I don't get it. Really? Four years? So it's next not year, two? Real, oh, well, that's... Why don't why do they have to do four? Whoa. Okay. Well, to be fair, I actually think it's advantageous for them when it comes to contract wise. I mean, these college players making money now. So. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah, it's probably they're probably making more money in college. Wasn't she? Uh, wasn't old girl the white girl Kaylin Clark offered five million dollars to play in the big three? Yeah. 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 She fine. <laughs> she'll, she'll be all right. Be all right. That little girl be all right. But yeah, they do play overseas because the they WNBA is like a lot. in sections. Yeah. It's not like the NBA. So they had to play overseas to make ends to meet. Make, yeah, I'd say literally to make ends meet because they aren't getting paid. With I put shit. women in the G League. Well, they're about to get rid of the G League. <laughs> yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, they, but, they showed they do. They do. They said I did. That's a shame. Really do. Yeah, that's a goddamn shame. So you gonna it make your the, your most money in college? That that's and that then go doesn't broke. make sense, man. I just make some more events that are more co-ed leagues. That's just leaving True. so much money dope. on the table. Yeah, I would like I would, co-ed leagues would be good. Co-ed I leagues think, would be cool. I would like that. Y'all want y'all? Y- hey, if you <clears throat> literally y'all want more opportunities to make sure that women are a- advertised in situations that are like, yeah. yo, they ball out. Get the same. And I trust that they like, and, and, and we all believe that they can ball out. Yeah. Therefore, co-ed stuff. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be like in a proper league. Just literally, All Star Weekend would be way more interesting. Hell yeah, <laughs> way more interesting. With like, hey, like, let's see the best women players come in, try to play the dudes. The best, pl- best mi- players. No, mix it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mix yeah. it up. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, sub in. Uh, if Angel Reese going to leave, sub in. That Angel way Reese you get. Goes, yeah. That yeah. way you you. What happens is you're using names that are currently real big to boost up and elevate yeah. some names that you probably haven't heard about. And be like, cool. Now we've got this thing. It's just fun to see. Yeah, because yeah. you do I'll have those. Right now, you well, got... do it with celebrity games. Right. Yeah. So it's like, I mean, you might. I mean, you can. That's that would work. Draymond I, would not be allowed to go no. out. Okay, so hear me out. No, no, Tommy. You better not be making an argument for this man to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm not going to watch. No, y'all wouldn't watch. No. no, for him to choke the dog shit out of somebody. No, <laughs> no. But you don't know if he will or not, the boy. No, he no. He got the propensity of Joe Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> he can't hold himself back. No. I don't know what happened to him. Uh-uh. I mean, he, oh, I, I, okay. I'm, I'm going to cut, I'm gonna cut this conversation. No, I, y'all will. I'm going to okay. save you from you. No, it's fine. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> but, um, just like, I just literally, want Draymond to be Draymond. Not That's him literally trying to make literally. an argument Draymond playing with these with this <laughs> man. I just just let him be himself. I don't trust Draymond. Shit. I don't trust him. <laughs> Next thing you know, he's taking his shoe off and shoe beating the shit out of somebody's <laughs> league. Like, oh, no. just you wait. Yeah. <laughs> I 
wrong with it. He ain't good. If there's anyone who I believe would be about true gender equality, it's Draymond. That was and I do not Draymond. want that to be. Sh- I do not need that to be showcased. Look, both genders can get this ass whooped. <laughs> I don't need that to be showcased on top. <laughs> he is, he's walking equality is what he is. But I will say that um, just on the topic of women's sports, I would love some other just sports that don't get a lot of shine to, like, to get. Like, I've always said, man, volleyball. I was about to say volleyball really should. Those it's, players it's fast play. Fast paced. Fast paced. Yeah. And, I mean, it doesn't help that, you know, love me some volleyball women. But... <laughs> Let's be honest. It sells. I say it, it would sell. sell. But, but but in general, I'm like that's a sport. Just more sports in the ecosystem. Yeah. So that way, it's like cool. But my thing is, and mainly for me with that one, especially is like like these women go to college, they get scholarships and what. So it's done after that. Like it's no professional league for them to. Continue. Well, with volleyball, I guess the next you have the step Olympics. is like the Olympics. Yeah, but but yeah. like, still, I mean, basketball has an Olympics. It doesn't mean you can't make money. Well, in it's between. not like it's not like sand volleyball. Where it's like there's leagues. Yeah. There's not league for like the indoor. Just indoor. Yeah, there's no college league for that, style, Which is weird. Yeah. I, 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 why do you have a sand but you don't have It's indoor. really entertaining, man. Mm-hmm. That's it, That baffles me too. Like, because it's so many uh, girls that grow up to be women who play it like throughout their lives. Mm-hmm. No, there's women who yeah, literally like, you can go to scholarships on yeah. volleyball and yes. it's just like. What and that's I, my thing. And I, so you have these excellent world class athletes, and just after college the Olympics, and, and, and that's it. And, and that's what, and that's where I'm trying to figure out because for some reason there's just some delta yeah. between college sports and major league sports. Right. Mm-hmm. And I know, don't get twisted. There's a lot of probably corruption around this. That's why, like, a lot of leagues stay of up. Of course. But excluding the NF, like, because to me, when I think of a sport that's ex- not exclusive to men, but primarily men driven, I would think. Foot, like okay, cool. You got the football for dudes, and then volleyball would should be that opposite because a lot yeah, of the times when you think a, of like, yeah. like it's like back yes, in high school even there are there are guy leagues for volleyball, but when you think of volleyball, women's the forefront. Yeah, yeah. it's the first one I think of. That's fair. Yeah, and so I'm like, oh, there's sh- like that equation. I don't know. It was always it's always been interesting. I, cause yeah, because like, again, like growing up, even it's football. Okay, you go into the volleyball game after. Like, yeah, yeah, like it was a synonymous. It thing. was always synonymous with each other. So it's like every in America, we grow up with that, and just want to just kind of fall off, and just like no one cares. No one gives a shit. That's wild to me. So, yeah, it's just interesting. Hmm. There's other sports that I feel this way about, but like I feel like everyone like. When you think of golf, people who are in it are really in it, and yeah. they make millions. Tennis, same thing. Same. It's just, and yeah. and women can choke like, and and those sports were women's women. tennis is one of the few where they, you know, I think it's pretty even and well even balanced. And or more entertaining. It's when a Williams is playing. A uh, swimming, someone <laughs> yeah. highlighted, but that's a little bit different. Yeah, again, track and field is, is oh yeah, Olympic, but track but those are Olympic. But, but again, things, yeah. those Olympic things, track and field just dies until the Olympics. Yeah, I no don't one gives a flying fuck. Sometimes, but I actually keep up with track and field. There's like. There's not league, but there's a course event. You got the Prefontaine, you got the one in New York. Yeah, they got different. You like, got different, events. and then you have the World like, Track and Field that comes like every two years, and yeah. then you have the Olympics and stuff like that. So track and field does have events that is like more the heads into the summertime, even when it's not the Olympics. But you only hear about track and field before the Olympics. Yeah, yeah, you only hear with the, at that particular point in time. So, and yeah. I'm like, look, I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> if you don't have football season, you don't exist to me. So don't do that. <laughs> yeah. But there's a large gap where I'm not footballing, and I sure as hell ain't watching baseball. Nah. So no. uh, bring steroids, man. And, <laughs> unless it's the World Series, in which case I will watch the World Series. Only if the Strohs in. Um, soccer has a weird season, so it's kind of always around. Um, it's around pretty much all damn near all year, right? But there's a gap. Tennis is like that too. Tennis is. And people year. are like, "Oh, what about basketball?" I'm like, "Basketball's all the time." Basketball stops. They get in like June. two months off. Yeah, that's and that's it. All that's the time. Pretty much. So, so time. basketball is not a non-factor here, because if you are someone who watches every basketball game, you are a better person Shit. than I. I don't but know that's how that's possible. Get Just some ti- Get some. Get some Titanic. <laughs> get like there. There is room for other sports to breathe in the yeah. ecosystem. Also, fine if it's not football season, which again. I wouldn't do that if I were you, because football to me is a weekly thing, even though it's just yeah, we got UFL. <laughs> yeah, I said we got. <laughs> they got you said don't. That's a bridge too far. They're on a yeah. pro- they're on a prove it prove deal it right deal. now. 
Um, but hey, that Monday, that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday during football mm, season, yeah. we got Christmas. Uh, yo, now NFL, too. and yo, if NFL, yeah, Christmas is now in the NFL. Yeah, if, if NFL, if NFL for the foreseeable future. Bro, sorry, bro, how co- like, that's what I'm saying. Like every holiday, <laughs> should, ball. every holiday should have a sport. Yeah, were you watching basketball on Christmas? Yes, who's basketball? I, I was. Well, I only watch because the Lakers are playing. But yeah, yeah. other than that, I don't watch any other game. There's like five, six games to, on Christmas. It used, big, it used to be a big deal. Yeah. And then just like, it's all right. Thanksgiving was the NFL. Christmas yeah. was the NBA. And now <laughs> they're like, like, NFL's no, we'll like no, 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 we're taking this over too. Bro, and it's crazy because they, they took that shit like, yo, look, they took that shit like Debo. Oh, they, <laughs> that was the thing. <laughs> they mad pump. dogged them. Yeah, they was just like, yeah, these my. That's my day now. I was like, okay, NFL. Yeah. Bro, no, I'd be out there. I'd be out there. It's just like, it's just funny. I just remembered. This is the year where there's 12 teams in the playoffs this year. For what? College. Football. Oh, that's right. There's 12. Yeah. Oh. That's exciting. Yeah. No longer no longer four. I don't want, I want four. Some Cinderella's. Give me a Cinderella. Oh. Yeah, you'll have a spring yeah, Cinderella. You Cinderella. I was, you see four it. was stupid. Oh, four was dumb. Exactly. Yeah, no, I agree. Four. I, exactly. thought they would, I thought they would do like a six or an eight. But no, 12 is good. 12. I'm like, fuck it. I'm fine with 12. Go for it. But Hell, my cougs might sneak in sometime. UT's guaranteed every time now. So yeah, right. That's why they did it. Well, now your quarterback that coming is back. why they did it. <laughs> you are but, art. You want no, art. I, I, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, I just, uh, man, I really like NFL. If y'all were smart. There you go. Here's your, here's your program. I NFL, where you're heading. Go NFL, ahead. Yeah. You be, be advertising. Mm-hmm. That Monday through, you that, that Monday through, Monday, uh, not extra shit. What's the only day without football? Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Yeah. You'd be like, all right, cool. We have our symbiotic relationship with a volleyballer or something. And then now, y'all eating NFL, VFL. I mean, no, not excuse me. NVL. VFL, yeah. NBL. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. NBL. Boom. And, and, and having that. And nice then you and then you'd it. have then you'd have the then you'd have our balls 24-7. <laughs> and would that jar us? No, because again, those two things well, are kind of synonymous. Isn't with each football other. gonna be on Friday now? Is it? Because the first game of the, the, the NFL season is going to be on Friday in, I don't think in I Brazil. Don't, I don't think it's always Friday. Yeah. But just special. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fridays are usually special until later in the season. Because they have the relationship with college, which I think is why yeah, it creates it up. Because yeah. then that's why games move to Saturday right. after college is gone. And then they start doing some... NFL really do got a grip. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. the thing about it, no, you are right. NFL is not as smart as they should be. Like, you should have a streaming service right now. Why are you going through, pr- like, Prime and other services when you can have your own? Oh, because- and we will pay $27 a month for that shit all year round. I would. To watch old Texans games for no reason? Yeah, I would do that. Well, I mean, that's because... uh, the- Pick one team. You get one team archive. 27 <laughs> bucks a month. I'd do it. I ain't going to hold you. Uh- I would do that shit. <laughs> All access, everything, um, uh, to whatever team you want. Well, I mean, that's because we're big NFL heads. So uh, we ain't the only ones. That's what I'm saying. I know, but this is America. But it's so inter- <laughs> but it's so entertaining to watch. Yeah, so, come on, y'all. I would like. I would like. Sports just got to be more entertaining. I will watch. Sure. Look, if I could put Texans game <laughs> on a loop, I would but, just watch them all day. But I've asked why football is entertaining, and it's because everyone gets one game a week. Absolutely. Yeah. Every game is more impactful. Therefore, the stakes are higher. Yeah, and again, if you had this service, you could never miss your team. It would follow you. So it would be great to have like like some, you're a fucking Phillies fan. Wouldn't it be great just to NBA not TV. worry about it at all? NBA TV. Thank Damn, you. I have that. That's wild. I'm like, so how does NBA have? How did they figure that out? Yeah. But okay, my before we'll switch gears. But yes, they they are strict on gambling with the NFL, and I actually agree with it mm. for the exception of. I agree with it. I wish I think they should be allowed to do other sports that yeah. has no auxiliary factor to them. Also, they think they should be allowed to bet on themselves because you best believe yeah. I'd be gambling on me. Hell oh yeah. yeah, if you bet on yourself, I don't, I don't think it should be any consequence to that. No, it's like how many points am I gonna get? And I'm gonna look at my quarterback <laughs> too. I'm like, hey yo, let's go. I need the, I need the points. Yeah. I need the points. Mo- extra motivation for me. Is that <laughs> the reason motivation. why? Extra <laughs> But no, no, I, I I do think that they shouldn't be fucking barred from. Getting to bet on other sports that's stupid. Yeah, yeah, suspensions. Was, it, was yeah. it Calvin Ridley Calvin that did Ridley, it? Yeah. yeah. That was dumb. And I guess half of like the second string of the Indianapolis Colts. Calvin Ridley got the worst of it. The yeah, worst. Really did, he yeah. got a year. He got a year. Or two. It was he, a got a, he took a year off himself. Stupid. But. Oh, right, right. That's yeah. what it was. Also, yeah, he wasn't even fucking playing. No. That was dumb. No, he was injured when that happened. Yeah, that's yeah. why. All right, hold up, y'all. Y'all know what time it is? Y'all know what time it is? I got a fun one for you. 
not a fun one. But I was about to say, yeah. I don't know. It's fun. If uh, it's what we are, but what I'm thinking it is, it's not too fun. Hold up. Uh, Gotta take a deep breath. Oh man. Because uh, I think there's a lot to go off go off of all things. Man, um, this is but, a whole segment. But it's a whole segment. Yeah. It could be its own thing. We're gonna talk and, about it a little. Bit. Uh, and uh, I know you guys. I know you guys have been looking forward to it. Y'all know who we talking about? Y'all know who we talking about? Uh, what? Don't, don't give him any resistance. Y'all know who we talking about? We know. Jordan, you're excited about this. I don't think he is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think he is excited, excited about, about this. I, um... That nigga going can to jail. I, can I say something real quick about this? Yeah, please. Just right off the bat. Not him fondling you, too? Does this surprise me? No. <laughs> It really doesn't. Like, is this a shocker to really anybody? Yeah. Really? For me? Well, really? Well, I feel like P-Diddy's been too quiet, and that's kind of kind of Look, questioning. It, I I had to do a you know I had to go back into the into the time machine. I just remember all the shit Suge Knight said about him. I was like, you and Sh-, my the whole thing's like you and Suge Knight are like, damn, they're the same fucking person. Matter of fact, Suge Knight might be a better person than you, which is saying a hell of a lot. But, like, it makes sense. All of it makes perfect sense. Because, yeah, he's been very quiet throughout, like, his entire career. But it was always this weird, That's crazy shit that would follow him. Like, that shootout with J-Lo was there. Oh, you remember that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, crazy shit like that would just happen. And, again, he's so quiet. He doesn't say much. He keeps the glasses on, which is actually a good tactic. Because it's like, the you know, oh, it's just Peter with the glasses and the you know, the fucking, he looks like a mouth breather. Nigga's mouth is always open. Like, it's <laughs> shit like that. So, yeah, he he's an under-the-radar type of celebrity. Ugh. And has been for, like, he ain't Snoop. Snoop is out there, you know, Ugh. mingling and shit. He's never been that. But he's always been around. And so, like, shit like this is similar like Russell Simmons to where, like, that didn't surprise me with Russell Simmons. Like, okay, yeah, he has a lot of power and a lot of this and that. The thing with Diddy... I will say I am surprised about the extent of the shit. Like, although the the fucked up, like, sex crime, no, that doesn't sh- surprise me that much at all. Sex trafficking? Tra- yeah. I mean, multiple crimes, trafficking included. But yeah, no, like, that shit, sad, no, that doesn't surprise me much. The blowing up Kid Cuddy's car, shit like that, yeah, a little, a little bit. And I'll be sure, I, I don't know if you read that I'll be sure article. Mm-hmm. He kind of alluded that. Diddy is the one that put him in a coma. Because if you don't know what Al B. Sure, like Al B. Sure's son was raised by Diddy. Diddy, yeah. He wanted know. no part yeah, to know. do with Al B. Sure, yeah. And Al B. Sure seems like the more stable adult in this situation. Not any- oh, shit. And apparently he's just like, he has a lot of shit to say now that everything's kind of out and that, you know, him being in a coma was due to Diddy, a man who. Kid Cudi, even to his own admission, says blew up his fucking car. Now, now listen. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, uh, Orlando Brown? No, you can't even take that nigga seriously. I forgot about Orlando uh, Brown. Uh, don't, put no. that, don't put his name in there. Yeah, don't put his name no, in there. No, don't put his name in there. But I mean, just like. Not to. Not to no, we don't. Well, let discur- me that. Look, we won't disparage mental, anyone. Yeah, mental his mental capacity isn't like, great. A lot about that. But he he's going to be calling look, out for that. Yeah, Orlando true. Brown got his own. But he, got, yeah, he said some wild that, shit. I'm like, no. It's plenty of more, you know, people other than Orlando Brown that. You know, we could <laughs> talk Vouch about, for, yeah. about, you know, yeah. Like, would, to I, me, Cassie was the main one. But, but hold on. But look, I'm, I'm going to give some context here. Okay. Because y'all got on, y'all were in the middle of me. I'm sorry. And we got to start off by saying, <laughs> okay. Shaw Diddy Combs, a rapper, a music mongol, credited with the launch of the career of some of the biggest stars, accusing him of sex trafficking, sexual abuse, and rape. Um, federal agents raided two of the rapper's houses in Los Angeles and Miami on, tw- on the 25th of March as he faces a string of varying accusations. Um, my first and foremost thing is, oh, no, I don't want to get there. Never mind. But, um, it's so quick on P. Diddy, but yeah. politicians just get passes. Um, frustrates me very much. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Not to say there isn't a severity in this issue, right. but they handle this like shit. They had military guards there. I'm like, shit God damn quick. it. Like, yeah, that was a raid. I was like, it was a full raid. That's a raid. I'm like, raid. we can't even get that on actual villains, too. Like, like that I, was like, crazy. Me, villains who have been proven, even though there's accusations here, innocent until all that kind of stuff. That's why I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I get that. Mm-hmm. But um, 
Nah, man, Diddy, bro, it was like once one pin dropped with Diddy, it's been a nonstop it's been a domino. flood. It's a domino effect. Cassie, Cassie said, boop. Yeah, Cassie did that one little ping, and that shit set off a goddamn also, firestorm. he was flying to a different country, or, or one of his jets was flying yeah. to a different yeah. country. <laughs> Didn't know if he was on it or mm. not. No. Um, and, man, there's the a... The there's a bunch of <laughs> yeah. shit that's just shady as fuck around it. His David. sons got arrested. And you're like... Well, they, they had to detain him because of the raid, they which him, is yeah. stupid, but I get it. But you're sitting there and you're like, Diddy, Diddy, what's going on here? What's up, man? Um, Where's what Mace? Know? Yeah, what, what, <laughs> what Mace got to say about this? What y'all? What, what y'all? So what do y'all? Because like, I feel like there's a uh, there's 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 every, there's universally known things, yeah. and then there's just so much news and information. Uh, everybody knows a little look, man, it, So you, I want y'all to share. Look, you don't want to be compared to the person I'm about to say, but he's kind of. I'm waiting on. I mean, Fifty already said he's doing a documentary, but I'm already just waiting. It's some R. Kelly level type shit of just like years of this motherfucker doing just devious, evil shit. Like, just truly evil fucking shit. And so, yeah. Like, no, I, I mean, people seem to have receipts. And so, I... I mean, there's no charges being brought about, but they had to... A lot be, of civil suits. There, civil suits, yes, but there's a there's no any fed, federal charges being brought about as of now. now. yeah. But they got their information from some of these lawsuits, and that's the reason why they read this, raid mm -hmm. this man's place. Yeah. Look, all I'm saying is... I don't know what's going to happen. Unless some charges come about, they could just be like, okay, we searching for shit. We ain't got nothing. Okay, let it be. But I, I'm just like, what else can, at this particular point in time, there's no defending that. You can't really defend Diddy anymore. Who is? You can't. Is you, people you, still doing that shit? You just can't defend it anymore. And, and, and just at this point, it's just like, I'm keeping my mouth shut because I'm just like, I don't want no part of this shit. No. None. Now look, even look, like you said, they may have raided this shit. I've not seen many raids to that extent, like nothing that. happens. You but had still, the milli. You had the still, military at this nigga's house. The camo tanks and shit. Yeah. Look. But I mean, P, but P. Diddy had like, and, and P. Diddy was in like this echelon, because I actually pulled it up in New York. P. Diddy was like this echelon of like, you know, billionaire. Yeah, Dr. Dre. Like, yeah. like, like, like literally, they even, Jay-Z. The Post even says here, billionaires yeah. told the Post that he could, he would cold call, he'd cold email business proposals and people would call him a genius, and one of the CEOs of the exchange called him an inspiration. Like, motherfucker was a business mogul. I mean, you don't, you're not around this long, you know? But apparently, he's around this long for just doing mob shit. Yeah, like, yeah. straight like, up mob gangster. Straight up actual shit. mob gangster shit. Like, using fucking, like, Prince Charles, I mean, Prince Harry somehow got involved in this because. Yeah. Like he's making deals with people involving Prince. Say, hey, you can you want to commute with Prince Harry? Hey. Not man got six shit stars like in GTA. That. Wheeling and dealing type shit. Uh, drug traffic is a basketball player that was Jeez. apparently a drug mule. Shit, crazy! You didn't hear about this? I'm man, I'm recent. Telling you, recent. This had like I thought that was a basketball like player a that was caught up in a murder, but other than no, no, that. no, his his drug mule is what they've called him. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, like crazy fucking shit. I mean, what else, just, can you, what else can you say at this point? I mean, it's all I don't on know. the news. You can't it's really say shit else. This man's got drug shit, trafficking shit, uh, a litany sexual of fucking sexual crimes. Yeah, like a mountain of abuse. A mountain, mountain of abuse, abuse fucking charges. Just, just yeah, abuse. just abuse. Uh, like, blowing up people's say? cars. Just like, again, crazy mob shit. And like, dude, every week it's, every day it's something new with Diddy. No, Diddy's done. He, hey, criminal charges may not happen. Career-wise, this nigga is done. And you know I don't know. It's, no, you're not bouncing back from this. Someone said, I remember the interview that Stephen A. Smith did with Luke, and he said, Diddy can weather the storm, but Kanye can't. And I'm just like... It's the other way around, it seems, huh? What world or what earth or what planet are you on? Yeah. This man cannot weather the storm. No, That's Diddy be can't weather the Kanye some fucking hell, yeah. Kanye has weathered the fucking Look, Kanye storm. could be the biggest asshole in the world, he but he ain't this. do that. He, he, ain't, on <laughs> he ain't on this. No, no, no. Look, See, Kanye there's drops the album. It'll distract people long enough. Diddy has nothing to offer. So it's like, okay, Puff Daddy, no, I remember Kanye's, him. I'm not people want to see this downfall. Two wrongs don't make it right. Yeah. But Kanye, Kanye out here, and Kanye's just a bad person. It's a bad, creepy just motherfucker. Just a bad yeah. person with bad takes, bad decision making, Anti -Semitic and bad as fuck, yeah. But he's not this. He ain't that. 
He ain't that. I don't mind. I can take a beef over. Well, hold on. Wait. <laughs> I was like, I can take a rap beef <laughs> over this shit anytime. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> This is so fascinating because it's been like this prevalent thing in the news. Yeah, it's every day. And uh, I don't know, man. I I just can't. I'm like, Diddy. Like, what? Like, I, okay. Can criminals, just just be, just can criminals just get one? What I mean by that is like not get a pass. Ooh. I mean, get one charge and stick to that charge if you're a villain. You know what I mean? If you're going to do just something, be this. just be this. Yeah. Don't be 18 different things. It's really just it's distracting. This. It's very difficult, right? Because we ain't used to motherfuckers. <laughs> we, like, again, R. Kelly is one of the main villains that pops into mind. He's one fucking thing. He's one thing. He's and he's one that thing. one thing that to where you're like. one shitty goddamn thing. And it's like, yeah, this piece of shit is this. I don't know where to start with this, nigga, man. I don't where. Where do I start with Diddy? I would like to start there because to me that's fucking heinous, but like you're doing worse shit. And again, I mean, it's people accusing this man of doing, I mean, look, that's just a scratch of surface. People have accused him of doing far worse and it's believable. It's very fucking believable. Cause, cause he, like you rethink all that J-Lo shit. Cause you think it's about just all like, the control what? he has, you think about yeah. all, the, all the, like this man he, loves what, blackmail. Blackmail is one of his main he's things. He's walking apparently. around with powerful people. It's yeah. like, come on. Princes. Like what? Yeah, this man has lot of control. Look, <laughs> this shit is. You know, a this know Elon Musk. You know no. they hanging out. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Come on, man. Godly. The amount of images you can find of of, of P Diddy Just with powerful people. Powerful people. That's what I'm saying. And I'm talking people. It's crazy. Think he'd be around? Yeah. You're like, no, how that's what are I'm y'all saying. colleagues? He's, he has been around for so long. And he's just been, I mean. He's, he's been skating by for too long. So, so long. And like I'm saying, if you are where he's at, like I said, you put Snoop Dogg there, put Jay-Z there, put Dr. Dre there. He's there with them. Look at the people they interact with. That's who he's fucking interacting with. So that's what I'm saying. Like, he's got a lot of pull in music and in entertainment in general. I'm over it. Well, <laughs> I got a quick one. Another quick one? We got another quick one. Is it a Good Times episode? Nah. This one, this this one is a... This, this one's just a quick one because it's a no-brainer, but it is under the DE&I topic. Oh, oh my God. God. Damn, this shit. Not this, nigga. We really doing this shit? <laughs> <laughs> you better not. A term that didn't exist two weeks ago. Yeah, let's... We, go, go, TJ. Go, yeah. go, go, go. I, I want to see what you're talking about. Come on. <laughs> Well, mm -hmm. there's a lawsuit. Oh, my gosh. Damn, Pete. Uh, There's a lawsuit that accuses the George Floyd Scholarship of violating federal civil rights law. How's this? Uh, Because it's exclusive to black people. Oh. Oh. People didn't like that. Racism? Wait. Is that what this is? Is this one of those? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. A fellow judge (laughs) recently gives a a black-only agency. And the federal judge says that they cannot just tailor their business to black people. They had to open up to everybody. And I thought that was a big, big ass. So when I see this, I'm just thinking, we can't have our own shit. <laughs> well, no, it's very interesting because you have the case where, and 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 and, and you said a store can't cater. It was that. It's an agency, a black agency that or agency that's black owned that only tailors to black people. Cool. Um. So check it. Remember, and I am not using this as an example to like try and. Uh, de- deviate from it but remember when there was circumstances where people who were uh for gay marriage right mm-hmm. to go have a cake done for our place that did not support them and the ruling on that was that hey they're not allowed they can do whatever they want to mm-hmm. right um and it's like you just have this wishy-washy notion when it comes it depends on the group because i imagine that in the flip note, flip note i i i bet you i bet you with my bottom dollar it was the same case where there was uh, people from the LGBTQ community mm-hmm. at bakery, we're like, oh, we only cater to those for our community. They'd probably get the same flack yeah, that that agency would. got. Yeah. And I'm just thinking about that because I was like, when you say things like that, can't have none. Can't cater to no one. And the worst part about this is anything, like, like, and I love the title here, anything to stop black students from having an opportunity, right? So it's facing a lawsuit for violating the Civil Rights Act according to file complaint by a conservative nonprofit Equal Protection Project of Legal Insurrection Foundation. Jesus Christ. Um, the George Floyd Memorial Scholarship in North Central University in Minneapolis violates Title IV, uh, which prohibits discrimination based on the racist color or national origin of programs and activities f- uh, receiving financial, federal financial aid mm-hmm. assistance. 
I have um, a solution for this. This isn't an issue. Go ahead. This, why are we even talking about this? It's not an issue. No, you just say, yeah, white people are included, and we just do what they do to us all the fucking time. Just pick black people. Yeah, you're included. Sure. Yeah, thumbs oh, up on that. Talk. Yeah, what, that's what they do to us? Is they not do that shit to us? Yeah, you're included, black people. Obviously, you're not going to pick us. You're going to pick, you know, uh, Emily. Like, you know what I mean? Like, come on. It, it's the me, same shit. Tell me. No, lie to them. Tell them they're fucking I mean, included and just keep doing what not, the fuck we do. You, you know, huh? you know I, I cannot. Let's just keep I, I it moving, huh? I can't defend that answer. What do you mean? But I can't defend that answer. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, I can't defend that answer. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> I don't, it's issues like this where it's like, no, just say, say they are. Look, it's it's one gra- It's one hard line. You can't say nigga. I know you want to say it so bad. You can't. You never will. I know you do shit like uh, someone said it. Like this is this is kind of that version of that. It's kind of weird to me. What? Set they're following a lawsuit because they're saying that it only caters to black people. Yeah. Meaning that they want to be included too. Right. Right. Yeah. On all groups to be included. Right. And it's because, and if I'm not mistaken, I think the Delta is because technically it's a federal scholarship, not a mm-hmm. private scholarship. Therefore, there's some nuances there. Mm-hmm. If I'm getting that incorrect, please correct me. But it's always weird to me. I just thought of that. You're following also because it's federal and it should belong with everybody, mm-hmm. right? But these are the same individuals. They want to be part of this. But these are the same individuals that criticize black culture. So it's like, what are you getting at here? You know, it, these are the same folks that criticize the black national anthem. Same folks that do this small shit, the DE hire bullshit. It's like, y'all want to but criticize they, they our culture. Want it. But yo. Y'all do shit like this. It's like, okay, that that makes we, all the good sense. Because we can't have anything that's ours. I know we can't have <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's, are you I know new? we can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, welcome, no welcome to America, welcome brother. To America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> nah, man, it, it's that. Like, they'll ne- they've been doing, they, they've been doing this more so lately than any other time. But it's like, apparently, uh, I, I hate to get political, but whatever, this is a black show, so. We can do that. But, like, no, there's apparently one of Donald Trump's things was putting in laws to where, like, racism against white people, you know, can't happen. It's like the definition of racism is a majority versus a minority. It's the actual definition of it, essentially. So, yeah, I don't, it's not racist. If anything, you say we have a race problem or, you know, a prejudice, some shit, but it's not actual. You know, this reminds by, me and I, and by I, definition. And, I, and, I, and I've always said, and I've always, and I've always which means we can have shit like this, and it should legally even it's fine. I've always said the problem with a lot of things is you're not just overt with it. Yeah, like what I mean by that is, I, I might get flack for this. I really don't care if you tell me. Oh, X Y Z is not for you. That does nothing for me except thank you yeah. for clarifying. But you know who it is. But I, what, you know it? who it is. Like you saying this is not for X, Y, Z. Like is, you're not, you're not for that. Yeah, right? yeah. This is not for yeah. you. Or hey, you know, companies can't do this. But a company yeah. being like, we only hire Boom. X, Y, Z type of people. It's all just okay. It's the language. Thank you for that letting me know. Right. Yeah. You know who it is. That's, you know who your oh, players are. I yep. know who my players are. You know. I know exactly who you're you going stand. for. Yeah. And it's like, okay, I will avoid your business. You yep. will get fl- whatever. But whatever. I at least know. Scholarships always felt that way. There's so many scholarships growing up where it's like, oh, it's only for women, it's only for XYZ, and it's like, that's fine. That's No one cares. Yeah. I know that there's nuance and qualifications here, but I'm like, it's always been a thing where that's just been a qualifier. But the whole thing is, if you're blatant with it, it makes life so much easier. Yeah. Yeah. Give me, get, give me Let some. Let me know what's up. Wonder why conservatives can't run the culture war. Shit like this. You'd be like, what's going on here? It kind of reminds me of... If y'all remember a long, long time ago, like in 2014, there was a white girl that sued UT because she said she didn't get in because of affirmative action. And the Supreme Court just said, no. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of this, like a little bit, just stupid ass shit that just irks me uh, quite a bit. And I just, yeah. just, just, just <laughs> go away. <laughs> just go away. You're just going somewhere because look. Yeah. I think we get so caught up in the minutia of things and it's very simple. Yeah. Like people get angry at these, or people, it's like people trying to jam themselves into so many things when it's just easier to be honest and communicative about what you're looking for and you know, what you're supporting. And I hate to say this because like, you know you don't want to encourage it, but it's reality for us. If you're a racist piece of shit and you feel a certain way about black people, tell me, tell me, 
I know. Cool. Look, you don't, have, you don't cool. have to like me. Just don't kill me. No, don't, don't kill. That's it. Don't kill me. Don't, don't kill me. Don't look, harm you me. come at me a certain way. That's a whole nother thing. But if you just flat out be like, hey, I don't like your kind. I know to avoid don't you. Don't fucking like your I'm not either. trying to. I'm not trying Fine. to change people's minds no, all the time. Gonna, so look, thank you. We are not magical, mystical Negroes that cure racism. <laughs> that movie you need to tell me about. <laughs> but like, no, that's not what we do. Most people do not fucking care. If you don't like me because I'm black, cool. I'm not trying to change your but mind. It's, 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 Thank you for letting me know. Stay out of my space. I will stay the fuck out of your space, and I will go about my goddamn day. It's, but it's attacking the cult. It's, it's attacking the culture for me. You 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 do shit like this, and you just wonder why you don't win the culture war with our people. It's a lack of self. This shit like this. You, it's like yeah, a lack it's of self awareness. You're lack not of seeing specifically what you are doing when you are doing this type of shit, and it's just. Again, I'm over well, it. Well, people brand it in a way, and they're it. not smart enough, a lot of people, to be like, oh, this is bullshit. Keep, no, keep, it, keep fighting if people, that Juneteenth is a holiday. Oh, the, the, yeah, that's a thing. So, yeah, no, keep it's fighting like, that. No, the thing is, Jordan. <laughs> you get the day off, too. Look, <laughs> yeah, it's all, and look, the bottom line of it is when someone cosigns your shittery and your racism and you being just a bad fucking person, people will eat that up. I'm shit, and this person says, hey, it's okay to be shit, because, you know, these black folks, they'll do this, this, and this, right? And then you're like, oh, yeah, I think they will. This is they another, said it's okay, this, so there this, you go. So this, black people, they don't, they've not earned a thing this yet. This is another involuntary uh, relocation. Yeah, they've not earned anything yet. <laughs> yet this comes from a group who stole everything, including mm. people and land, and your generational wealth, wealth is from stolen things. And you get a leg up because of bias, this, that, and the other. But we didn't earn anything. And I mean... Nepotism this- also. Forgot about <laughs> nepotism. Yeah, like, see, it's shit like that. It really is shit like that. I get it. But again, look, if, if it's a pick your battle shit, yeah, sure, you're included. And, you know, let's move Call on. it a day. <laughs> you know? But I've always said, you you, you've, you know I've stood my ground on this opinion of, I just appreciate honesty. You don't have to be shaded with it. You don't have to act like you like No one's it. honest. Yeah. You work in you corporate America. You're like, yeah, I know you it's are like, now. It is and, no and, honesty. It's passive aggressiveness, like, and that's about all you get. And it's the difference between, like, oh, like, if you're trying to learn, talk to me. What's up? Like, we chilling it. And yeah. a lot of the times, sometimes you might have, and, and I'm not trying, but I'm not trying to fix you. Right. Really not. Yeah. I will avoid you. I will. I will not dis. I will, That's like, it. Don't be disrespectful. Yeah. You don't have to be disrespectful. We ain't out here on a mission. I don't give a fuck. Just, Avoid our ways. Yeah. You go your way, I go my way. I just fuck. like, hey, the, de- the devil, devil you like, know. They you want know? me to know that you don't. I'm like, why do I have to know? Because because guess what? If you don't like me, I'm not losing sleep over No, I don't fucking just, care. Just don't harm me. That's about all I'm asking for. <laughs> just let me cross the street in peace. <laughs> You don't have to look oh. at me. Look mm, elsewhere. Mm, mm. Like, you know what I mean? I gotta pull that story up and save it to myself. I gotta read this shit later. <laughs> Which one? That Oh yeah, I went <laughs> So I got another one. Yeah. D E N I. Oh not D and I. Uh, uh politics adjacent. Okay. D T us up. And then uh we'll jet through the last one. <clears throat> Y'all all know the Baltimore Bridge. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know, yeah. That was an unfortunate situation. Circumstance. Yeah. Um and my heart goes out to anyone who's impacted by that. Not a good situation no. to be in. Have you ever seen the Baltimore mayor, Tommy? Yeah. Yes. I have. Yeah. I mean, shoot. Young dude. Yeah. Young, uh, younger, you know, 36. Yeah. Young chap. Uh, honestly, I, I saw him for the first time and I said, oh, hey, yo, time out. Finally answering the question that you know how I feel about it. Young politician. Dog looks good. Yeah. Man, man's fresh looking black man. You know what's crazy? You got him and you got the black governor. More. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. And, and and I'm like, sitting, I'm like, that's a good, that's, that's a that's a ba- that's a brother in power. Yeah. So you know he got some flack, right? I didn't read this. Can I heard he did. I'm just gonna carve out I just want a small time. Go ahead, but I just I want a small D- carved out shit, time yeah. just to vet just a small bit about this shit but go ahead i got you yeah, yeah we got because uh so what happened was baltimore bridge crashes at 1 30 a.m mm-hmm. he has a three-month-old child that he was taking care of mm-hmm. and uh so he goes out throws on a baltimore uh how to put it uh was it a baltimore city uh, windbreaker coat mm-hmm. whatever yeah and he does an interview and so i'm gonna show you that interview real quick um 
Mm -hmm. Interview. And I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna play a little game here. I'm gonna play a little game here, Tom. Play a little game here. Today with our mayor, Mayor Brandon Scott. Uh, thank you, thank you, Chief. Uh, everyone, this is a unthinkable a tragedy. Uh, we have to uh, first and foremost pray for all of those who are impacted, uh, those families. Uh, pray for our first responders and thank them, uh, all of them working together, uh, city, state, local to make sure that we are working through this uh, tragedy. Uh, this is an ongoing active uh, research. Cool. Yeah. Tommy, what you see wrong about that? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Did he have gum in his mouth No, or what you see wrong about that? Not a thing, man. Just <gasps> oh, saying. it's it's his attire, Tommy. Oh, fuck. We doing this Obama oh, Brown shit again? Oh, yeah, we running it back, baby. Oh, he wow. He got so much flack for showing up at 3 a.m., not in a and suit what he and could tie. Find. Not even what he. It's a bulk city of Baltimore. Yeah, coke. it's he's clean. He's clean. Yeah, he, he was taking care of his child. It up. Yeah. Three like, month old. Got got his edge up. Looks presentable. I don't see. He doesn't look not presentable. Hey, he's also grown. Yeah. But I can show you a snippet, a snippet of the Twitter comments. For actually, you know, what? I'm gonna show. Oh, please do. Because oh my God. because trying, show the main you're one. To, you're trying to get me, huh? Show, oh, oh. Show, show the main one. Oh, you, the, one was, that, yo, yo, the one with the... I thought I was going to get yo, out yeah, of here yeah, without yeah, being yeah, riled yeah. up. I was uh, close. Because, God damn it. Let's see if I can pull that up. Because um, what else you got, TJ? What, what else you got? And uh, I just... What other, like, has he done any foul shit? Probably no, not. No, no, of course no, not. No. Because, hey, what else you got? I mean, you got nothing else. He's like, black and he's it. he's dressed not the way you want him to be. Classic. Mm -hmm. oh, I saw that Christ. one. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Show the other one. Which which other one you think about? There's one to talk about. Uh, this is the DEI hire. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh yeah, the yeah. DEI shit was what I heard with this. Oh. You got it. You got it. I'm sure it's a goddamn. Cornucopia. <laughs> oh, fucking stupid goddamn comments. Well, I've only on seen shit. a few. i only seen a is few. It the, uh, is it the clip or the tweet? Uh, The tweet. Okay. I'm trying to find that. It, the, the tweet says specifically, this is our DE hire. Look at the DE hire. DEI mayor saying something. And, and, and I saw it. I was just thinking. <laughs> Thank you, Calamity. That doesn't. Uh, elected official. <laughs> it's not a DEI. I mean, it's people right, actually that, wanted that person right. there. Now, while you're looking it up, where is it? Not that one. Gotcha. But he but new one. responded. He was really well with that. The problem I have specifically here is, of course, that DEI has nothing to do with it. it you're elect official. The people elect you. So how are you a DEI hire? Yeah. I don't get it. And Baltimore is 50, <laughs> over 50% black. Duh. Yeah. But here's the, the, the thing that I got. I mean, other than infrastructure, the boat running into it. You can blame that. A fucking, yeah. But they start to go crazy with the vaccine on the boat, and that's the reason why this shit oh, was God like, I just damn. like, what was even, going on? We can't do this. But, <laughs> then, but then, going a little bit deeper. So I saw a few tweets like that, and I just said, well, why are we having knee-jerk reaction to these few tweets, you know, these conservatives saying dumb shit? But then I kept thinking to myself, but this is the conservatives, or majority conservatives M.O., they react to knee jerking shit. They do. They, that's the one. This is the Baltimore DEI mayor commenting on the collapse, collapse Francis Scott Key Bridge. It's going to, it's going to get so, so much worse. Prepare accordingly. Unfortunately, readers out of the context, he had over 70% of the fucking vote. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Of, so even if you want to. You're not anything, hired, motherfucker. You voted in. See, this is what I'm talking about, dude. Like, We've just gotten to a point where the dumbest motherfuckers alive have like fucking microphones. And that's it what I'm saying. But, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I was going to say. It's, I would say, why are we knee jerking to just a few of these tweet, Twitter posts and all this other shit? But that's conservatives, majority of conservatives in most. The knee jerk man. reaction to the black national anthem. Shit like this. The black, uh, black lives matter on the NBA court. Like knee jerk reactions to that is the reason why y'all don't win the culture. But then I start to think specifically a little bit more. And this is where I go into media biasness. What is the difference between a Democratic mayor or a Democratic elected official 
saying my thoughts and prayers after a tragic event and a Republican saying my thoughts and prayers after a tragic event. How they get treated. This weekend, or this past week when that bridge collapse happened, they said this is going to be a very big test for the Democratic rising stars more and this mayor here. Mm-hmm. But then when we had that Ohio derailment train situation happen in, I forgot what that small city in Ohio, they said, well, that's what you get because you like the Trump. So I, I asked myself that question, what's the significant difference when a Democrat says it and when a Republican says it? I'm just pointing out media biasness because, like I said, I hate how they take media tragedy or they take real life tragedies and make it a political pawn. I just hate that. So, no, that's that's a bad excuse because both of them are saying apologies, my thoughts and prayers. So why do the other side get more flack than the other side specifically? That's all I'm saying. It's media biasness there. That's all I'm pointing out. Oh, no one cares. <laughs> no one cares about the thoughts and prayers, but at the end of the day, it's like, how they, how which side gets covered better. Well, no, I mean, look, it's, it's the same thing of like, well, yeah, one side is, I mean, definitely got to get covered better because they have like whole ass networks, <laughs> just no you, matter what. When, the, when when one party has majority of the media in their back cup, pocket, you can say the Democrats can do the dumbest shit in the world. Guess what? It won't be blast. You'll see it on Fox News, but everywhere else you'll see you won't even give a shit about it. But also, if the other side's doing dumb as shit. That's probably going to outshine it. Your boy, that's actually incorrect because the person, the head of the labor place said it was not because of regulations. Stop that. I'm saying specifically that there's a different type of coverage when it comes to certain tragic events in certain cities and certain states that the media has biasness for. I hate how they do that. If you're going to cover it, cover it correctly. If you're going to go after somebody, you be... Keep that same energy. That's all I'm saying. I saw it this weekend and I thought it was disgusting because how they treated both, how they treated certain situations like that. And I'm just like, yeah, your media biasness is actually showing. So that's all I'm saying. No, I mean, it's simple. Man came out there, said, I feel, yeah, thoughts, prayers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you even push back on one comment that was like, so what are we going to do to get the bridge fixed? He's like, there's people in the water. That's not my focus. He even says, stop showing the footage. That. Yeah, stop. Like, yeah. he's advocating for his people. And I'm not saying he's, I, I don't know anything. Doing what a man's supposed to do. I'm not, I'm not going to sit there and say, I know everything about the, what this guy's doing. I don't know all of his movements. I don't know every, every little thing, right? But he's doing the basic steps of trying to be the best mayor. That I mean, or at least. Yeah, a, a well, decent, I mean, at least try. Trying, yeah. And so with that. I can't do nothing. Well, no, he's black. The fuck you mean? Just black a dude and who's out of, Look, if he had a fucking three-piece suit on and his hair bald, uh, the, yeah, shaved completely, something a little bit more comfortable to, to certain people, then, you know, they still give him shit. So regardless of what they, if the opportunity wasn't this tragic, the opportunity was it's a black man, this shit happened in this city, let's go. And it was nothing else. And actually, it literally was nothing. They didn't have to know what the fuck happened. Just that it was a tragedy in this city and it's a black fucking myth. Cal- calamity, Go. you pointed it out 100% accurately. It's not, not this is a non-political issue. Yes. No. It, yeah, this is just a, a fucking accident that happened. And we should just be like, <coughs> is everyone is like, Yeah, it's unfortunate for the Has people everyone- who are lost, this, that. But everything's fucking politicized now. So, yeah, of course. Of course this shit was going to happen. So... It's frustrating. It's disheartening. Every tragedy comes with some political statement now. It has to. Yeah. Just fucking has to, for whatever reason, just has to. That's where we are. But, man, it's shit like this in politics that get me down. Yeah. Like, like so much. Like, just genuinely. It's depressing, man. It's depressing as fuck. Yeah. Because he's just being a mayor. He's just nothing, giving nothing crazy. But you know what? You know what brings Jordan up? Hmm. Elevates him and educates and motivates him? What? Candace Owens. Oh, my God. I hope not. Sticking on the topic of politics. Don't do Jordan. that to him. Yeah. <laughs> Why do we have to talk about Candace? So Jordan we've avoided Candace. About it. Really? I did just briefly Jordan? over it. Just oh. cause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jordan, this is a you pick. You want yeah. to talk about Candace Owens? Oh, fuck. <laughs> she got fired from the Daily Wire because I guess she did an interview. I, the emails got leaked out. I didn't read the emails. But apparently <laughs> she did an interview where I guess somebody in her Co, her, one of her co-workers uh, said that saying, I thought, what is it? Jesus is king or Jesus is Christ or something like that is anti-Semitic. Mm-hmm. 
And she's like, no. And she had on a, a, a pastor that I guess said the same, like, hey, Jesus is king. Is that's appropriate to say? And I guess she got fired for that. And I'm just like, okay, um, the price of milk is going up. So what else is new? <laughs> like, I don't give a shit about this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a fuck about this bitch. Yeah, why, why was this new? I, 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 you can't. Because, what if, ah, you know my rule. Mm. You can't be calling them people that. No, no woman out here that. This dirty debutante. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Don't you that do that. Good. I told that you. Was good. I yeah, told that was you. Good. That. that was good. So that this old oh, nappy head. No. <laughs> no. 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 Don't die on Ibis. No. Don't die on Ibis. But I. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. Yeah, no. You like. Know, I, I said I got one rule on this show, and that's it. <laughs> You can't, if it goes for Candace Holmes, it goes for anyone. Ooh, well, yeah, where's yeah. Don Imus when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wait. Yeah, of course you got fired. Well, you know what, you Hoy, can fired? I just say this? You know what irks me about Candace Owens? You know what irks the fuck out of me? She's an intelligent woman. She's smart. But the way she talks, she always talk bad about black people. She do. She never say any positive about black people. She'll point out one specific thing. She'll say, so she uh, see a sexy red video. She said, you know what? That's black culture. But she'll never highlight the good shit that happened in the black community. Never. You know who else had that kind of outlook? Who? Bill Cosby. Who? Bill Cosby. Yeah. He used to say the same thing. Yeah, but you know what, though? Bill Cosby donated to a lot of HBCUs. He balanced that out. <laughs> he hey, did not. He, he, <laughs> he did not balance that, balance that out. He ain't he, like he Candace maybe, Owens ain't donating shit. It, but he did not. <laughs> but yeah, no, she does uh, nothing. Uh-uh, calamity. Delete that. Uh, he don't like that word. Uh, what, that's Griffin? bad. That's bad. We can't say that. <laughs> we cannot say that about Candace Owens. <laughs> <laughs> we can't. Yeah, Gabriel, uh, nigga. <laughs> but yeah, I just can't. I can't stand that about Candace Owens. You know, she'll they highlight the worst in our culture. Never the boy. <laughs> boy. What boy. did you do? <laughs> boy, every time you gotta put it back up now. Hold every on, every time I see that picture, I, I've never look, seen look, this before. Every time I see that picture, I think of the sunken place. Wow. I don't judge you for Holy friends you have ever more shit. Time. I know. Shit. But that's not helping your case. Fuck. Shit. Holy that's shit. That's Uncle She became Rockets. white just from the reflection of them. Mm. Just because that just bounced off of her. That's a lot of whiteness. Who, who, look, look. Who's Holy her? fuck. Hey, who's her target audience? No shit. Not Hello? Us. It ain't us. Certainly ain't us. It ain't us. Like, yeah, yeah, no, look, have it whatever friends you want to have. is powerful in her. <laughs> Talk about, talk about Radio Raheem. That's hey, funny. What? <laughs> Kundis and <Aunt> Owens. <laughs> That's a little much. Oh, she, yeah, she everyone's black friend. Oh, yeah. Um, but but don't have a black token. friend. Yeah, she is everyone's Hello. token. Not even black friend, just everyone's Hello. token. God damn. Mm. I just don't. Yeah, I can't co-sign anything, Candace Owens. Hell no. In any way, shape, or form. Hell no. God damn. <laughs> so, well, oh, shit. What are you looking up? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh no. Let me live. Okay. Keep chatting. <laughs> Candace Owens. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that was the majority of our overarching topics. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna give the gents uh, about a ten minute roll call, so don't worry, I'll get y'all here in uh, okay. ten minutes. Um Okay. Uh, yeah. no, that's an hour behind. Um I know, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, no, still good. Still good. Yeah. I did see her on the Breakfast Club, and what? the sad part is they never push back against her. No, not at all. This is not the, in any way. This is the round robin. This oh, is what yeah, is boy. some fun black topics that the chat has. I'm gonna give them two minutes. Yeah, but uh, then y'all guys could think of something, jump up something. Okay. Uh, and uh, I know mine. There. All right. Oh, I got nothing. Mm -mm. Going? You found? No, I'm, I'm letting the chat tap in. Okay. So, so chitty chat, chitty chat. For chat, a give me something. Oh, I got, I got mine. Somebody. Mine's is great. It's the best thing I heard <laughs> since this this year, since early this year. I'm ready. So, uh, what the Jay ain't got nothing. Go, go ahead, ahead, Tommy. Tommy, oh, you, I got nothing. Oh uh, no, sorry. T go on, TJ. Uh, no, you first. Go. Yeah. Me. Yeah. <laughs> you know what my good news is Lizzo quitting music. <laughs> That's what I knew you were gonna highlight in this segment. That's why I did it. But she isn't. She ain't. She ain't. 
You know, she said small, it. Small joke. She when I was in San Antonio it. with JJ and Pago. I, now, I want you to think about what you say. Because I, I really want you to think about what you say. Because I could not have you on this show disparaging much more than I know what you're going to do. So I'm going to tell you right now, really? on a topic before you talk about Lizzo, I want you to think real hard about what you're going to say. Because I'm looking at you like, now, now, sir, 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 sir. <laughs> Take up says bang. <laughs> she said she was going to quit music. <laughs> I told you. Look, what's she saying, Hoy? I quit. What? Her quit post wasn't about leaving music. No. What was it oh. about? No, no, no. Uh, Jordan, set up the stage. What happened? Was in San Antonio mm -hmm. with JJ and Paco. And we were at Jollibee's. And fire! If you haven't had Jolly Bee, Jolly is great. They don't have Spaghetti they throws me off because it's sweet. Yeah, it's weird. It's great. Sugar. <laughs> it's good. Oh God! It's really good. And as we are eating our food, Paco says, "Oh shit, Lizzo is quitting." I said, "Stop! She's quitting food." <laughs> you let him. I didn't let him. I told him. Ah, I told him. You don't know. I said, "God damn!" I said, "She quitting food." <laughs> <laughs> she on that no, Tommy no, TV. No, 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 stop it. Not <laughs> you. No, I am not slandering big women. I want to get that clear. I'm just slandering Liz up. <laughs> and that's the qualification. He keeps that. his very limited <laughs> to specifically who he's talking. If they makes anyone feel any better, he does not think like all women are bitches or like, you know. He doesn't make fun he of people's He has very sizes, strong opinions. But if it's someone he does not but like. But I can't affect, but I'm trying to save you from the chopped and screwed version will. of our podcast. Because I'm going to make they it. Will. Will I'm going to disparage that. you. <laughs> that bit. <Mo. laughs> <laughs> he really hates me. But continue. But yeah, go ahead. What, what she said? She said she was so, quitting. But I she thought it was me. about damn, it's about damn time. Oh my God, that's so corny. But the post said, I'm tired of putting up being dragged by everyone in my life and then on the internet. All I want to do is make music, make people happy, and help the world be a little bit better than how I found it. But I'm starting to feel like the world doesn't want me. I quit. Oh um, she said, I didn't mean I quit to sound like, uh, you know, I'm leaving music. She, she said, I meant to quit giving negative energy attention. All right. Well, like, see her mouth already open. Bait. <laughs> but I, no. Now I'm gonna I really get in front of you. No. But what I said like yeah. was legitimately with Lizzo, um how do I put it? Yo, you brought that negative energy on yourself. Like <laughs> right. oh, shit. Thank you. Yeah, bullying people and doing crazy shit at strip clubs. Like that's not nothing. And forcing your dancers to eat pussy fruit. Shame on you. The whole documentarian was like, I can't cover this woman. <laughs> Like, like, you I, know, like, what I, the my, fuck? My People like, don't quit documentaries willy-nilly. Like, you have to be fucking terrible. I literally, I, my Take opinion. Take some accountability, Lizzo my, fuck. Uh, my opinions on Lizzo were were so simple. My, my, I was like, I don't care for her music, but she does her thing. We talked about it. She carves out a whole niche for she that had particular a niche. Uh, area in the music. Yeah. She had a niche. One she that fans. wasn't there before. Mm -hmm. Like, and she and she's like, cool. I, and she's all about being big, black, beautiful. That's all her thing. Body positivity. The whole nine, which is fine. And she decided to be a super villain. No shit. And I'm Over like, I can't. Like, and, 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 and Jordan, unfortunately, I'm not going to sit here and defend Lizzo because she no. perpetuated a lot of nonsense herself. It's real bullshit. Like. Some real bullshit. Caused trauma to people. Hypocrisies and shit. Yeah, like, speak, speak on it. And, I, and so yeah. I'm like, you know, well, <clears throat> we gonna have an HR report after this because I gotta keep you in check. <laughs> I can't like like Liz, like Lizzo like she's saying I quit negative energy. Well, don't bring negative energy Stop. towards yourself. Yeah. Also, why do you have to keep re making posts and shit to to res respond yeah, to why, negative why? posts? You know, people gonna troll you. No shit. You could. Well, no. I think this was clickbait. It's like it oh, is no clickbait. One's, no one's talked about me in a minute, so I need. It is that. clickbait. So, yeah, yeah. No, that's <laughs> fuck that. I don't care about Lizzo. But can I do mine? I, I yeah, go I ahead. found one. Beyonce doing well in country music. So yeah, I mean, not to get it. in other black country music stars because of Beyonce doing pretty all right, and I love it because yeah, black people they create. Also, country. real quick, but go ahead. Shout out to Rafael Sadiq. He wrote a lot of tracks for really. 
Tony? You know what I'm yes. <laughs> the, he wrote, the one Tony? He wrote Texas Hold'em. Really? He wrote 16 Carriages. Get the fuck out of here. Her opening track. No and there's a couple of tracks. Because she normally works with The Dream and Jay. Yeah, yeah. But she worked with Rafael Sadiq on a couple of on tracks. On a country in album. album. That's unique. Apparently, Absolutely. this is a trilogy, and she has another one coming out of. No one knows what genre this one. Will well, be. no. I mean, it, it makes sense for her to. Could be. But. It makes sense for her to reclaim our roots and. I love that country. That's rock. what she's doing with these projects. Honest versus look. house. This is country, and now the house have, even has like origins with black people starting that shit. Listen to early '90s EDM and Chicago shit. House. That's when what I'm disco saying. died, like, Chicago yeah, House came that through. Became a thing, and we made that. Too. We made music. I've always said it. Sorry, I'm being quiet over here because I, I try to pull up Beyonce and Beyonce. Sorry, Beyonce is so beautiful. Of course. Did you see her yesterday at Die Hard with oh, all that black leather on? I said, God damn, Jason is lucky. <laughs> Her album cover. Jeez. Yeah, Renaissance. That album covers. Not even Renaissance. Cowboy Carter. Mm -hmm. Okay, Cowboy, Cowboy Carter. Yeah, no. Like, I love you what let she her does. cook. No, because you pissed her off. Now and she, I love the origins of it because yeah. you pissed her off. But I she knew, was fine. I she, knew it was the CMAs that she did that was, this yeah, album she, before. She said it. Yeah, she was just she like, said, I'm, I'm going right in the well studio though. and I'm yeah. going to do this. And I'm like, good She's for like, you. She's like, it was that one time I did not now, feel well. Now you're forced to recognize me. Yeah, now I'm just going to bring up the fact black people created country and have people talk about that a little bit. And then my shit's going to be number one, probably the number one country album of the whole year. So there you go. I know that Taylor Swift album that come out in April better be good. Well, she's a new country anymore. She left that shit behind. Well, I'm just saying, she better, <laughs> that album better be good. I know that. There was one image that was full on the internet that I was trying to pull up because, you know, it was about Cowboy Carter. And it was just so, like, not I like the articles that, like, show other, like, black country artists. Oh, yeah. I, I, I also like, some good but, ones. Sorry, I was so quiet because I was just trying to find, the, like, a, like, the best uh, image I could. Uh, but this is the album cover, um, if you haven't seen it. Yes, yes. Actually, um, but yeah. to 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 they to, had a to, problem with the flag. To to that point, right? Y'all upset, ain't you? Yeah, they man. <laughs> man Beyonce doing country. Good. Them damn niggers. <laughs> uh, y'all man, y'all man Beyonce doing good. Mm. I love Sit it. on that. Yeah, proud of her to actually uh, shout out to or add in other black country artists like her song Blackbird, which I didn't know was a Beatles song. Yeah. She took four black country female artists, and then she also has Shabuzi on there, who's a, another black country artist. Proud of her for doing that. Yeah. And because they were on her album, their uh, Spotify or I, Apple I, or their iTunes increased. And I'm just like, damn. Yeah. It just takes her to do that. Yes. So, I mean, look, her, Taylor Swift, they have a power to like... Oh, hey, guys, I want you to know that country music was started by black people, and I'll just do that by doing a country just have roots in and it. And you'll figure the rest out, because, hey, you know. And that's what she does. Like, it's, it's power. I, I love when they use their power for good. Yeah. Now, I am upset that she didn't pull Darius Rucker in for a track. Yeah, a lot of people disrespected Hootie. And I said, you don't, you ain't going to disrespect my boy. Hootie did a lot. Hootie held it down before, <laughs> before you be honest. Or Gary Clark Jr. Well, he's more like a rock. Type of, yeah. you know. Nah, Darius. <laughs> Dar no, Darius is, Darius wears a hat. And <laughs> Who do you wearing the hat? Y'all y'all know how I feel about Darius. <laughs> Darius is good. Darius is a very good Darius country. Darius my favorite. Yeah. Um, but, to that point, yeah. it's just, I'm always about, music and skin tone are not a thing that are, let me phrase that. Music and skin tone don't define Skin tone doesn't define what music you are. No. It's not mutually exclusive. Music and skin tone. But I mean, if you if you want to go there, we but if created you want to do the car fest, <laughs> yeah, we did it. Rock, EDM. A lot of the popularized country. things <laughs> comes down to a certain. Who's the source. king of pop again? I forgot. The permanent king of the, pop. The, the, the forever the king of pop. The forever yeah. undisputed king of pop. Who was that? What color was that? Well, confusion. Well, yeah, yeah. Time what what race was he born? <laughs> 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 Right. <laughs> you know, yeah, I, was like, I was like, I was like, I'm you off the set this right. shit. Kidding. But no, 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 seriously, black man. That's what I'm saying. Like music. And, oh, and then if you were, were even trying to go to second place, still be a black man. Yeah. Yeah, he's still black. He just, you know, the skin thing is. It's no, that's what I'm saying. Look, like, if you wanted to go, yeah. if you wanted to exclude that, if you said that's not my king of pop, yeah. go next up. It's still a black man. prince. Yeah, still yeah, a black. I man. agree. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, one and two. So. So yeah, no, we we got music, so that's done. <laughs> just, just saying. I just 
Just saying. Let Beyonce live. Let Beyonce shine. You can't you can't do anything with her. So well her beehive. Just let it happen. Let it run its course. That's all you can do. Just proud of her. I'm very proud of her. Very That's proud of her. Another black Texan. And then Houstonian my, even. Mine was yeah, an article. Know. Uh, mine was an article to highlight something that was not as fun. Yeah. Well, but mine was like one. Because we, we, I think, uh, while Jordan was out there getting milk, we've talked about this. <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate milk is that? <laughs> Jordan went to go go milk. I was like, I'm in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tried to come back, so oh damn, wrong thing. I gotta oh, go back. <laughs> damn. Left but, my walk. Um, bias test that kept thousands of black people from getting kidney transplants finally yeah. changing. Jesus fuck. This test used that overestimated how well black uh, black people's kidneys were functioning. In oh, some cases, delaying the diagnosis man. of kidney failure. Look, you, 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 you like you trigger me a little bit right now because black medical things is an issue of mine that I like. Like that's a real thing. For oh, me. I know. We've yeah, I think we've talked about. We like, talked about this, yeah. and I'm very firm about it too. Yeah, because it's fucked. And as someone who just had like a tooth ripped out with very little anesthesia, because I guess I don't need it because I don't feel pain the way white people do. It's your thick bone structure. Yeah, yeah. And that extra, that structure. extra, you know, thing in the ankle, whatever the fuck. Like these stupid fucking things. Yeah. Like, I'm real big on that. So, yeah, this shit like this, I'm happy it's changed, but the fact it was around till 2024 and no one seems to think that's an issue is is kind of where I'm at. Like, that's that's kind of my main problem with this article. But, yes, good that it, it has changed. Okay. I'm reading this later on, too. We don't have an extra bone in our... Well, I mean, yeah. It, it was, it was, it was, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, it was just... Well, like, well, obviously. Yeah, go yeah, on, yeah. So yeah, it's, um, and if you didn't know, the issue at issue yeah. uh, is once widely used a test that overestimated how well black people's functioning or kidney, making them look healthier than they really were, all because an automated formula that calculated results for black and non-black patients differently. Huh. Yeah. My kidneys. Yep. <laughs> Function just well. Uh, I don't know. I mean, shit. I, don't know. <laughs> I got doctor's appointments this week. Um, my kidneys. Guess what? While they're not going to sit here and say body types definitely have differentiation yeah. of needs, I don't think me being black. Right. It's a skin tone. Changes how my kidneys function. No, oh, they're, they're super kidneys. TJ, you didn't know this? Mega kidneys? You hadn't heard about this? Other people get kidney stones, we you get have kidney diamonds. Extra bones. And super kidneys. Not kidney chicken bone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got that, that extra layer of skin. Oof. That's why it was so dark. You see, that's what, you know. Yeah, that we, kind of we shit. We absorb sun like sunspot? Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> sadly, people believe these yeah. things. I get right? stronger. Yeah. <laughs> skin made for the heat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, we are superheroes yeah. who okay. don't get sunburned Sorry, ever I mean, I mean, and don't get this skin is the first cancer. Time I've been apparently, X Men, and I'm just sitting here like We're, we are I, the mutants, bro. I sit here, I'm like, damn, I've just been a mutant we really, all this they, time. They're based off of us. That was the basis of them, bro. I said Cyclops, nigga, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah. Yeah, that's that's depressing, but I guess moving in the right direction. Great news, though. Yeah, yeah. Great news. I mean, but it's twenty fucking twenty four. Yeah, it's wild. Too long. You would think someone validated this calculator. You would think, TJ, day one of medical school, they would just get that. Hey, black people function the exact same way as white people and Hispanics. All human functions all work the same <laughs> way. You would think that that would be a conversation at this point in twenty twenty four, but alas, we still have shit like this. So apparently doctors got better shit to do than learn basic shit. You're supposed to be smart, right? <laughs> Aren't they supposed to be smart? Doctors? In school long enough to so. somebody to say black people have the same goddamn bodily functions as everyone else. You would think in some point in that 10 goddamn years someone could, would say that, right? Somebody. Nah, they got better things to do. <laughs> Fuck, man. Man, I like you would think, you would think Tommy, but to be honest, let me real with you. <laughs> I just 
man, it really frustrates me because people just think that we just play the Black Man theme song. <laughs> this is a remix? No, this is us. Oh. <laughs> That's what that's what doctors hear. Yeah. Whenever <laughs> when we step into a room. <laughs> Whenever we step into a room. <laughs> <laughs> I think we mutants. Yeah. <laughs> no shit. Where's the ball, man? With the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Not that thing we mutants, nigga. <laughs> this nigga bones spread over and go back. All He's right. reading my mind. He's reading. <laughs> All right then, Bishop. I mean, TJ, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, it's like, come on. What the fuck, man? It's like, yeah, keep on coming. <laughs> Doc, you should just have a list that just says storm. Yeah. <laughs> the last name. <laughs> just, just, that's not my name. Yeah, okay. It's the black, new black anthem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> new, new black. Yeah, new, new black anthem. <laughs> Y'all just think we different. <laughs> Apparently, they really, truly want us to be experts. <laughs> They desperately want us to be X, but we're not. Sorry. Fuck. We're just the same just as y'all. regular fucking people, man. Just normal. It's wild to me. We, we have a more likely chance to get sickle cell. I think that was the thing. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Call me Night Nightcrawler. Night <laughs> Boy. Uh-uh. Oh. Well, shit. <laughs> well, that's us. You're not German, show. but you are blue. We are uh that was a Black Slints episode. It was, was a fun, fun one. I was a little more quiet because I was like, y'all, y'all are very passionate on these subjects. But uh I wasn't. I did not come on here. Don't worry. I, I promise not it. to drop y'all out of another Black Slints because A, uh, while I love doing the news re recap, and I'll probably make sure that this is every other, uh, I gotta make sure we actually get to some of our topics that's in a backlog too. So we have backlog backlogs? We have a lot of topics to talk about. I didn't about. know this. Not just news. You know, I mean, other we just stuff. have general topics. Yeah, yeah. that's what I mean, general topics. We just have to catch food. people up. Oh, I mean, we haven't done food, we haven't done a lot. Yeah. So bigger than Lizzo. Man, so it's like <laughs> I'm only. <laughs> <laughs> he hates Lizzo. Ooh we. <laughs> but we don't. We don't. We do not disparage. We do not. We perpetuate. don't discriminate. Perpetuate. We do not perpetuate discrimination. But I'm like, no, 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 no. We're leaving. Gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah, we're leaving. Cause I know I was like, I was like, if I get Jordan out here, well, you, like, yeah, we gonna get Midnight Jordan, and Midnight Jordan will get us man. canceled. Yeah. So, <laughs> I just, damn it, Jordan! I just, I, we were almost you done. Threw you threw them off, baby. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> we got so many topics to cover. Uh, so many different interesting topic conversation points and if anybody has anything that they want us to talk about well there's a variety of ways you can get us to do that oh we're always receptive to different conversation topics yeah. but you legitimately have the ability to control a show via Patreon like you, you can you, literally you, you literally can if you were like I want y'all to talk about this it's your best bet to get me to talk about comic books on this platform <laughs> <laughs> I, I want about, TJ to talk about comic books you know what's crazy Mark and I were talking about the new X-Men 97 we were like so how would it I wonder people uh, I wonder how people on the 30 feel about this show we were going to ask you like how do you feel about the show I it's watch great it too. you like it I love it I think it's I, one of my favorites it's like okay for no someone cares about my opinion you know <laughs> I mean we feel like you will you will like it but I'm just like yeah, people under 30 like would it be nostalgia for that no, I just want to throw that thank you thank you for coming before, through yeah. Winshaw, uh, Winshaw come through anytime come through any, any time. and actually if you are one of those people who lurk in the back Mm, come to the front. Talk to us. Right, or something. we just need our boy, uh, Presidente, to make more outlandish comments to make other first time chatters come through. That's yeah. True. That's true. Well, you wipe your ass or what? I like. <laughs> you still got crust back there? That's crust. That's I haven't heard that reference in years. Bro, I but literally almost passed out. I didn't know. Yeah, I look, I read it thinking, you know, I wasn't expecting that. No, I read, yeah, it, I read it and then I read it again. Yeah, then I read, I read it, it twice. again. I'm like, what this man is talking about? I was like, what? We tried to find logic in it and it just was none to be found. But go ahead. But yeah, no, uh, the X Men 97 thing. Look, Patreon, if you want to, maybe. Yeah, review man. it? Review it. No, we're reviewing it next week. Oh, just in, for free? Yeah, no, stop that. Y'all niggas don't want money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll do that. And I'm, I'm in on that because I do love it. Yeah, no, it's no. Time out, time out, time out, time out. I have lines. Popular stuff gets us. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to sit me down and have me read an entire comic book series, that's something you can get via Patreon. I, I will can re- talk about comic shit all day. If you want me to play a certain video game. Actually, I'm not ask playing. me that. I'm not doing But, that. like, you know. He playing what? Baldur's Gate? Baldur's I've been game. playing Boulder's Gate. See, I knew you were playing that. I was like, "Yeah, you playing that?" But but I but but I've been playing other shit too. Like I don't get to talk. I'm, like I'm we playing, all have personal hobbies. I'm playing Maximum Football 2020. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, yeah. And, and 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 but uh, for my general opinions, X197, dope as shit for me. I think it's excellent. Uh, first time I, uh, first time in my entire career that I thought Cyclops was cool. Yeah, same. <laughs> had, same. My, had my nigga fresh in that first episode. But here's my question: Why they got Morph <laughs> looking like that? No, that's how he actually looks. Like, really? Comic wise, that's mm-hmm. how he's supposed I prefer to look. The, the, the old version. Yeah, of him. He I prefer had a regular face. That's the one one thing I had a problem with. One of the things I had a problem with was that. I was like, that, damn, Morph look like powder. That is, uh, he does. He does. That is authentic Morph. Though. Yeah, that's what I was it looks just like, like. Uh, yeah. they could have changed that back. No, no, no. They no, like they, more, they comic yes. guy. Yeah, he's comic actor. Mm. Also, it makes more sense because yeah, he can morph into anything. anything. He so just his normal changed. thing would just be this blank slate. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's a good character. Because right now, right now, with you know what? And time out. I didn't know it would take one television show with three episodes to make Magneto pop up my list like just he the did. G. Magneto came. Oh, he skyrocketed. Said, Actually, I like this costume of Magneto. Like, I hey, like I, Magneto's I, I'm costume. Moving, I'm moving too, away yeah. from the past. This is the new me. I mean, more. I never. That seen, one let me be real with you. More comic accurate too. And I know. I know people don't like, won't oh, call me blasphemous. I don't like Magneto's costume. This I've never one? liked Magneto's costume. Oh, the old I one. like yeah. his costume now. I like, yeah. No, I've always liked that costume. I was happy that they switched it Same. to that. And oh, wait, the, the story with Jean Grey, and I was like, oh, I don't like this Goblin Queen. Okay. Yeah. I like all, that. All oh. good stuff, man. Like, all accurate. Bro, no, really time out, time out. Then she turned into Goblin Queen. I said, can I, can I keep this one? Right. Yeah, right. I, I, was kind of, I was like, right. I still want that one. Right. I mean, that's, right. that's the one you got right. pregnant, so you might yeah, as well yeah. kind of, you know. She was, like, she was like, I don't want to be affiliated with that. I'm like, no, 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 no. Well, you know, hey, I hey, we got a history here. Hold come on, back. come back. Yeah, come, actually, come back, And clone. what's interesting is that Jubilee actually looks Chinese now. Yeah. No, they did that. Again, they they they, they updated shit. They updated. Bishop ain't got that Jerry curl. Right. Though. He got a little pop now, ball. My, my yeah. only complaint. His hand looks like that. My, my, <laughs> yeah. my only complaint, literally, because uh, I, I have very limited complaints, but we'll talk about it properly on, uh, on, yeah, on yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. So so y'all save yours. Uh, my only complaint so far was, man, they got the black people pieced out in the first time. Right. <laughs> like you know a motherfucker. Jesus. Like, yeah. hey. Storm don't let. Bishop don't let. I'm like, God yeah. damn. Can we get them back? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so <laughs> tell them. Because Bishop, I don't even. I ain't going to. He'll be back. Now, I love. I love that that bishop was like straight up like and these fools I'm like, I'm like, I'm like yeah. yeah yeah he's, he's I love bishop That's which, which love. is crazy because real quickly he never exhibit that power as much but in these episodes he's doing it quite and that's a bit. His, like that's his budget. main power yeah, yeah like his Usually he had the guns and he did it that way, but I mean, no, his power is he throw energy at him and he can dish it back out. Yeah, and time I, travel. Yeah. So, so yeah. The only other comment I'll make is, I personally, because I didn't grow up with the show. Yeah. I will never. You should be, go back. I will never that. be able to envision Storm with any other voice. It's the same voice actor. It's, so, it's, it's, so, it's so commanding. Yeah. yeah. It's so... It absolutely like, They changed she, her hair. The way, she, the way she was demanding them in episode two is like, Bro, you the listen. guard's there, call them. No, no, no. I'm in control. Yeah. Be quiet. Like, she was I was like, like okay. Yeah. yeah. She was like, <laughs> do not speak. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah I was like, bro, because she doesn't, I'm Storm, mistress of the elements. Yeah. I'm like, oh my oh, God. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I felt like a little kid. I was like, Storm, that's cool. Yeah. So yeah, no. Nah, I've oh, I've been on I've been on paper saying I've been meh on the X Men at best. Really? I'm not. I'm, I grew up with this shit as I'm sure you I'm, did too. So it was like, just not my like. That I, is what made us like. I didn't like the X Men until the fucking cartoon from the '90s. So I didn't so, give a fuck. So I know people like the movies. And I, yeah. I, 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 like I read like, the comics and shit, and it just I was like, the all right, just wasn't hidden. Like no, there's the, some that do, but the but then like. This like, I like right first here. class. This is that pure. Then, yeah. I like, like first class. class. Yeah. First class is my favorite one. But like, oh, Days of Future Past. But like, no, like, this is that pure shit. This is X Men. This is what we know as X Men. And then they, we hear that theme in our fucking head every time. And I'm like, I'm sitting here, I was like, this three episodes has done better PR for most of those X Men. Marvel shit. Than that's half the Disney shit that they've Plus. done so far. <laughs> I even, I, you know, and I'm going to keep a buck 50 with you because I actually think, you know, especially because they treat Wolverine like Batman, so he's the main motherfucker right. who gets focused. I like this fucking Wolverine who's it's just like this is the way he's supposed to be. Normal, he's like grumpy, grump. grumpy. That's what he is. But he he's ain't like, Hugh Jackman. He's a little grumpy, short motherfucker. That is very dangerous. I, I like this. That's what no, he no. is. It's like I still like Hugh Jackman. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's fine. But, but, but I do like, like this one who's sitting there who's like, <laughs> this is the one we scary enough with. for you, yeah, bub. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. But wait, real quickly, two things, and I know we have to go, but two things. I actually thought Wolverine was my favorite character on the show because he was just a smart ass, and I love his comments. But I actually went back and saw all five seasons just to get caught up on this one. And, man, I, I, I hate saying this, but it seemed like everybody was just 
bitches in some ways. Like <laughs> Wolverine like Jean Grey. Yeah. Gambit like Rogue. Rogue, but apparently Rogue is fucking uh, Magneto. I and I love that. And, and I'm like, oh, this, her gambit is hard. I'm like, this grew up with us. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, fuck yeah, with yeah. this. And, and I like I love Gambit and with his Storm, Creole ass. Yeah, like, Stone was willing to marry a man in three days. I'm like, God <laughs> damn. Like, but I love this. I love I, it. Man. I, I like it so far. What direction is going? They curse in. a little bit in it. I love I'm that. I'm fine with that. Yeah. All right, look. So I, I know we can get wrapped up in this. Yeah, I mean, it's no, gonna no, be a fun review. You know, it's gonna be a fun review. But I also will throw out there that some people in the chat were commenting. First of all, Cami Perez, first time commenter, hey. came out the shadows. Love it. That's what we love. Love to see you on the black slants. Nothing uh, about asses and crusts, right? Now the other thing is, uh, so what I'll do for y'all, and I'll be I'll be super chill with it. So Randy, do you get a slot for this? I'm going to take, I will go through, and it could be an entire series, just be reasonable. Give me three, like, y'all DM me on Discord, and give me three comic books. Everyone, like, I'm going to look at the first three people who do it. Three series, three runs. Of X-Men? Uh, no, not of X-Men, of anything okay. to read through. Comic recommendations. I'll read them. I can lend you and I, some. I, 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 I know you, but <laughs> okay. I, mean, I want the fans to do it. I'll read them, genuinely. Go through, I'll buy them, do it. Don't need y'all. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and take care of it. Okay. Um, be reasonable in the length, but I'll knock that shit out. I'll knock that oh, shit out. Read. And I'll do that. And that's going to be something that I'll, nice. that I'll, that I'll you speak read to the public a, You can read a graphic, like a decent sized graphic novel in like less than an hour. So oh, yeah. I mean, I read manga. So, like, yo, yeah, well, you good. You're well versed. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Nothing. You run yeah, through. Like, yeah. I will literally, like, I can read. 30 minutes. Uh, yeah, you're this is knockouts. But, but I want to give people a chance because, because you know, I know that, uh, know that people making some suggestions in there so yeah go ahead no, can no. i make one serenity you 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 have a locked spot because i know you and i trust you give me a great recommendation but i saw some other people in there so can i throw one at you since we talked about x -Men? excellence okay got you i'll uh make sure to note that down yeah uh, so. house of x is one house which i have and if you ever want to borrow it i recommend it okay i just bought like a big book of graphic novels called from hell I want to read it. Oh no, that's just one book. It's one giant ass book. Yeah, yeah, that's so the it. movie. So I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I was just like, it's a good I'm a, comic book. Yeah. I'm gonna read it. I didn't, oh, it's, it's Image Comics. Oh, you already got me. Good. Which one? Excellence. Yeah, yeah, Excellence is good. Okay. Image. image Comics are very. Yeah, that's just my go-to too. Okay, like, so so I'm gonna look out for a couple more DMs. I, I said through Discord. I'm not looking at chat. Uh, my preference, I will note, be if it's doing, if it's a long, if, uh, if uh, give me something unique. Give me some I because uh, if it's General Marvel, I'm mean, I'm pretty fine tuned with yeah. Mar General Marvel DC, uh, and don't give me Spider Man anything because Spider Man depresses me. Um, really, <laughs> bro? They don't treat Peter Parker right. They never have. They don't treat Peter I Parker want you in the current run. So look, it's God. I just I'm recommending shit to you. It's a uh, fuck. Someone help me. I own it and I forgot the name of it. Basically, it's a Spider Man story that shows him from the beginning to the end. So you watch him when he gets it when he's a teenager. You watch him till he dies, and Miles Morales is taking shit over. Like it's a, it's very solid. It's a beginning, middle, end. You don't really need to read much Spider Man anymore after you kind of read this because it takes all the important bullet points from throughout his history, like the Green Goblin on the bridge with uh, Gwen Stacy. All that's in there, and it just has it as if it's one continuous story. Because you know comics don't do that. I got one, Madam Web. Oh no. <laughs> Life story, that's it. Ah, <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>